Hello? Hello, hello, hello? One year left. G -O 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 Rogue bootlegger. Thank you for the 17 months, dude. Ali, how you doing, Ali? Thank you for the 15 months. Welcome back. Intimidator, thank you for the 18 months. Drew with 13. And Obram with a year. Let's fucking go, boys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How you all doing today? Welcome back to the Wallaby Kid. Hmm. Too sexy, 93. Gifting out a sub. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh. We're live, and we are in living color. And we got a brand new emote, got the cheer emote, and we've got a hype train. Thank oh. you so much for giving our PS oh, 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 oh. The McGee's had a lot of fun with y'all. Thank you again. The McGee. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's bright and early. But we got ourselves a hype train. So if you've got anything hype in the chat, whether it's cheer or over the dance, all aboard and enjoy the ride. Rogue bootlegger with 25 gifted subs. What the fuck, dude? Oh, he's a madman. Dabs, thank you for 15 months, my dude. I like the McGee's too. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you see you more. Jim Bogo, thank you for the nine months. Oh, oh, who are me? Oh, God, I forgot. Vod, shit. <laughs> those emotes in the chat boys simons coco Chris, thank you for the five months. Rogue bootlegger, you are a maniac, my friend. What a nut. <laughs> Love you, man. Thank you so much. Mr. Noodles with a T3, 16 month resub. T fucking T3. If you got some glorious, get him in the chat, please. Please, 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 please. Thank you for gifting out a sub. Love the stream. Welcome to the brand new subscribers. Glad to have you. Na -na. Na -na 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 -na. What? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Vert, wiggle, vert, wiggle, vert, wiggle. Ah. Uh... Rogue bootlegger. What the fuck, bro? That's, um... Don't get in the water, wall Wallaby. Don't get in the water, bro. Ah, oh, you fucking idiot. Shit. Okay. Rogue. Rogue. 
Um, wow. Wow. That's, um... That's a lot of subs. Rogue Bootlegger, thank you so much for the support. That's a... That's uh That's a lot of subs. That's 75. Broomy, thank you for five gifted subs as well. Digital Hound, thank you for 19 months. I think we've hit 100 <laughs> in like five minutes. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the love. This is going to be a hell of a stream, I feel it. Dude, why are you in the water, you fucking idiot? Oh, shit. Dren, thank you for the five as well. What the... Hold, 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 oh, what? Okay, hold, 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 no, no, no. Dance, dance, redemption. Dance, dance, redemption? Dance, dance, redemption. Dude. What the fuck? Vinny Meek with 10 as well. What the hell have I done today to deserve such generosity? I don't even want to dance. I feel dirty. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um. Wow. Um, let's... And another fucking five from Servian. Wow. Val Valistic. Thank you so much for the huge 200... Oh. $200 donation. Thank you so much. That's, um... Ah. All right. All right. All right. One more dance. One more dance and we get started. By the way, by the way, by the way, I got some good news. I mean, it's good news for me. It's not great news for you. <laughs> uh, but ExpressVPN is going to renew, it looks like. Seems like we did a decent job. Servian, thank you for the five gifted subs. Simons. Thank you for giving out a sub. You guys have been <sighs> incredible this morning. Thank you so much. This is going to be a hell of a stream. I got a good feeling about it. But then again, I got a really bad feeling about it. Craziness is on the way. There is no chill anymore in the Wallaby fucking kid streams. But till then, we got one more dance to go. One more push on the hype train. If you've got a dance, get him in the chat. Because I'm excited.
One more bunch of emotes. One more time. One more time. Let's go. <laughs> Simons, thank you for giving out two subs. Train has passed. The weather's terrible. But we are back with the Wallaby Kid. If you didn't join us yesterday, it was a very significant day. A lot of um, serious conversations. A lot of seeds being planted. A lot of RP to come. So let's get right back in it. Thank you so much for the support early on in the stream, guys. It sounds like the audio problems are fixed. I restarted my computer yesterday and it seemed to fix the problem. Keep my fingers crossed that it continues to be good for us in the stream because that was really annoying yesterday. Um, but thank you guys for being so patient with me and uh, sticking around for, for the whole stream. Um, that means a lot. Holy shit. Long time no see. Bring honor to the Braithwaite name again. Well, not again. Oh, I, I know guess what's happening right now. I, I don't know really where it stands on honor level. It's a complete mess. All, all, all I'm seeing is I'd be connected to a rifle that had some connection to the assassination of the president. Right, he ain't done, dude. In the realm, all because I looked at it and I lost an eye. Dandy? Because... No. It's Thank you, man. I was never here. I didn't have this conversation. I don't know who you people are. I, I don't even know. We have a president? The, uh, the United States, My education yes. doesn't even go that far. Eddie, hey, don't. Uh, uh, just wake up, Roddy. Like you, you go all in. <laughs> you are so... You're given ideas. You're part of the conversation. It's a group effort. And then you have like a, uh, like a two minute and 12 second moment of silence. And then you just backtrack the whole fucking thing. Because I can see it clearly blowing up in my face. For no god goddamn reason or risk. 40%? 40%? Of a million though. Exactly. This could be the highest oh selling piece of, piece of weaponry Mid ever to be sold in the history of anything ever. That's $400,000. 400,000 big ones. You can buy you what. 12 Braithwaite Manors and stick it to your auntie once and for all. And that, you could sell the that royalty, rifle. The royalty to, for, for the story, Eddie. There's going to be sure, books written sure. about this. He's going to get royalty books. checks out your ass. Yeah, 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 Moving sure. pictures. They've been talking about this for like an hour. I'll tell you what, how about <laughs> if y'all are able to sell it for a million dollars, I'll tell you what, I will offer you my assets in Braithwaite Manor, and you can buy that fucker from out under me How with your this? multiple thousand dollars, and I and you can kick me to the curb and say, we told you so, Eddie. Why did you not believe us when you told us we were going to sell Springfield for a million dollars? How about this? Fuck all that shit. And how about it's 50-50 split on the gun sale and you get a hundred percent of all publishing rights of every book written, every moving yeah, picture. Book. I don't want that. Sold. I don't want to be connected. Odin, how you doing, dude? Thanks for 18 months. This conversation I don't want the Pinker Dude <laughs> knocking on my door because I read a novel. But this this conversation will go down in the book regardless. I think that's oh. halfway to snitching. I was never it. here. So, 
I think nope. that's halfway to snitching. No, you can either be the main character, Eddie, in this fucking book, or you could just be a small piece of history. What are we talking about here? We... A, a, a dirty Springfield. A dirty Springfield from the train department. That, uh... Yeah. We're trying to get more money, so we're saying it was used in the assassination attempt of the president earlier this year. Or last year. All right. like, whenever that was. Alright. And why are you in a fucking box? <laughs> It, was it, started started well, it, it started off as an auction, right? <laughs> then it turned into this. But then it you was like on the box and no one wanted to tell him to come down. Yeah, here, I'll, I'll get off the box. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you were having fun. It was. Yeah, a... you really did. I mean, you can stay on the box if you want. We're not. Uh, Zip needs to leave the west and just it's come come back. to Van Horn, man. Back up on the box. I think. Well, you're making it awkward, but you know. Yeah, you've made it awkward there. Well, I'm already down. What exactly Eddie, are you, you selling, Zip? A Springfield. That. Okay. I walk up to Henrietta. She said, she just threw the gun on the ground and walked away. So we took it. What? What? And it's a Springfield. And Eddie wanted eight hundred. Pete was gonna buy it for twelve hundred and some weed. <laughs> and then somehow wesley didn't get the idea of the auction and bid less and then the more this was talked about the lesser the gun value went down and then i think someone offered fifty dollars so then we all as a group as a van hornian thing came up with this great idea to put a backstory to the gun to make it did you just put yourself under the van hornian umbrella i'm here right now I think you did. <laughs> Working yeah, I think he did, yeah. With Van Hornians right. to make money. And that there's don't make a you percentage Van Horny. deal. That does <laughs> not make you Van Horny. I'm not a Van Horny in. I'm working with the Van Horny in. I don't know. The way you just said it, it sounded like you were one of us. Okay, I'm not. Horny for yeah, you, you love that horny. I'm All right. A, shut up. I'm a Van Hornian visitor. You're a visitor. Where are right. you from? Like originally? Not I'm originally, sorry. no. Southern California. It's the one oh I fucking asked. I said not where you're from. That explains a lot, though. What do you mean, Dakota? It really does, actually. Wait, what? You know what? I'm not even going to dabble in that. So you're selling Wait. a fucking Springfield or what? I am. Well, then sell the fucking Springfield. Rumor has it. It was used in the assassination attempt of the U.S. I'm president. Bullshit. I was there. I saw it. Oh, Jesus. The assassination attempt? Yes, I was there. I witnessed it firsthand. I could tell you it was a revolver. That's so cool. See, this is the type of history we went in, we needed to know about, Eddie. Well, I was there too. <laughs> what? What are you Wait, doing? What? That? <laughs> we could have got... What the fuck? The idea is... What I suggested... That if you're gonna sell it and you want to sell it for more, we don't see much value in it, bar. Gosh, for such, such, a, such a long time ago. And that's expensive for a dirty Springfield, but we're willing to indulge you in your plan and maybe spread a few rumors here now and then that this rifle is so valuable that it was one of the snipers you used to assassin or assassinate the president when he visited here last year. You know, that is. Sort of things to get people thinking, ooh, a collector's item. That's what you got to go with. Make sure you don't connect yourself in any way whatsoever, especially us. Why don't we just go back to the King Arthur thing, but not tie it to the presidential thing? <laughs> I, I don't think King that, Arthur has a thing. The King Arthur thing doesn't work. Do you know for because sure? Why that, the Wesley? fuck? Why? why because why the fuck would a rare Springfield blind somebody when they pulled it out of an iron? You lose me. You've lost me. The rock was Wallaby. upside down and they pulled it out and then sunbeam came through the rock, the hole in the rock, and boom. Can I talk to you about something real quick? Yeah. You know, it's actually important. It unlike whatever buffoonery <laughs> this is. What is it? Um. Yesterday, Zip approached me. And told me that Bill had asked him to assassinate us, basically, and that you knew about it. So I am. Uh, shut up! Shut up! I'm, I'm, I'm shut up! 
You didn't fucking tell anyone that. You understand? Okay. Who have you told? I haven't told anybody. I wanted to talk to you because he said you knew about it. But Zip told me this, so I think that should be the bigger concern. I will keep my mouth shut. All right, all right. I'll talk to you about it later. Give me a minute. Okay. One hundred and two and a, and two and a half. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to put the auction on hold for a little bit here. Zip, I need a fucking word with you. Uh, yes. Uh, keep doing the auction and let me know the final price and I'll let you know yes or no. <laughs> That's not how auctions work, Zip. Uh, how do they know? Uh, Alright, fair enough. <laughs> you don't make an auction and be like, I'll tell them yes or no. Alright, listen up. What the fuck are you doing? What are you doing? Trying to sell Springfield. Oh, not that. Not that. This fucking bill situation. Who the fuck mean? are you? Who have you told? Just my outfit. Your fucking outfit? Who's in your outfit? Um, my cousin. <laughs> and then his girlfriend. And then a couple others. Jesus fucking Christ. Anyone else? No. Alright, I'm gonna tell you something very serious now. I have something conjuring up. I cannot go into detail right now, but you need to keep your mouth fucking shut. Okay. You can't be telling anyone else. You told Scout. Who else did you tell? From your people, just Scout. Oh, and Alice. You told but fucking Alice. Al was, Alice was there in Siska. What do you mean Alice was there? Well, she was there when the conversation took place. No, but when I walked out, I talked to Alice later that day. And she also knew that Bill was coming to visit. You, know, you got a big fucking mouth, you know that, Zip. This was before I told you. But why would you tell anybody? What if word had got back to me, right? And then I killed you because I didn't know that you were going to tell me. Do you think? Because I know Alice isn't going to tell you. What? Why would she tell me? We're supposed to be fucking friends. I know, but me and her are family. Are you insane? You're family. Yes. How? We're not like blood family. But we're fucking everything there is. I I'm You're fucking to her everything there is. Lovely. Okay. Fantastic. No, no, I, didn't I, fuck, no, I knew the don't, circle no, was true. No, 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 no. Back that shit up real quick. No. Does Mills it's not know? Like that. There's nothing to know. It's like a. So you're telling me you've told like 15 fucking people, is what you're telling me right now. No. Eight. <laughs> Are you sure there's eight? Count them up. Right now, name them. Okay, Alice, Scout, and my six. And that's it? Yes. And who the fuck have they told? No one. Are you sure? They know... Yes, because I don't want this getting back to fucking law. And the more fucking people talk, the more shit gets easier to the law to fucking pick up a trail. Alright. I know, I know you think I'm some dipshit that <laughs> isn't allowed in Van Horn because I ruin everything. But I know how to run a tight fucking outfit without people fucking talking their mouths every Do day you, while they... you want me to talk about your fucking mother? I didn't get to choose that one! <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, that's what I fucking thought. <sighs> Alright. Alright, as long as it doesn't get further than that. Alice is gonna probably tell Mills, and then Mills is gonna tell fucking Jack. I'll tell them, I'll tell Alice. That might, that might be even but fucking worse. That might it, that might be even worse because now it is, it, you know, it's it's a bigger secret. Now they wonder okay. why. Okay, the thing is, is Jack in his fucking monologues, he's going to tell everyone in the fucking I West. know he is. If Jack finds out, everyone fucking knows. Okay, then I could, I could trust He's going to get up on a box, he's going to pull up his dick, he's going to be like, get ready. Get ready to, you know what, never mind, I'm not going down that fucking road, but you know what I'm talking about. I do. Surprisingly, yes, I do know what you're talking about. God damn it. 
I was gonna tell Fiverr. Fiverr's gonna tell no, Peaches. No, all, all Peaches is gonna tell Alice. Jabass. Jabass is gonna tell Jack. Jack's gonna tell everybody. Then it gets back to everybody, and the whole fucking shebang is done. Fine. Fine. No, it won't. All right. All I right. could spin this in a way to where it doesn't raise suspicion. <laughs> could you give me an example? What if I say, okay, I'm, I'm going to need you to be serious with me, Wallaby. Oh, you don't think I'm serious? No, I know you're serious, but this is talking about things that people don't fucking talk about, especially outlaw to fucking outlaw. Yeah, what? When you're in solitary, do you see shit that's not there? Do you have fucking thoughts that aren't your normal fucking thoughts that you don't get when you're on the outside that fucking consume you in that fucking place? Wait for us to uh, hear fucking voices or something. Have you ever? Oh, you think I'm fucking crazy? This is why I'm telling you to be serious. If you've ever felt that way, you're not alone. That place does that. That's why they fucking built it. That's why they put us in there. And is why, to make us lose our fucking mind. Why does this fucking matter in this current situation, Zip? Because what if I say that I don't even believe that the conversation with Bill happened? What if I tell Alice and the people that I've already told that it's irrational? That I may have spoke with Bill and he never fucking came to Siska and I might have been losing my mind. Because everyone that I've told has been to that fucking place. And they know what that fucking place does. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. But you're gonna have to mix in with other fucking bullshit. You're gonna have to come up with some other... Other things that you heard. Like what? That... You heard that... I don't know... Gavin Summers is trying to kill Jack. Gavin Summers is dead. Yeah, I know, but it makes you sound crazy, you see. But that's like too crazy. No, it's not. That's, no, that's exactly what you're fucking doing, Zip. What if I say Rabbit came and cooked me dinner? A candlelight dinner. <laughs> With cash. Fine, fine, fine. With cash. Yeah, lovely. You had a three. Yeah, you had a... Th it was Cash, Bill, and Rabbit, and we had a candlelight <laughs> for some dinner. Right, and then, and then, uh, Rabbit got up and said that she was late for a very important date, and then ran away, and that's when, uh, Bill told you. We'll say they skipped away. <laughs> I, I, Perfect, I'm all right, good. all right, this is lovely, all right, good. All okay. right, all right, I'll leave this with you then. Alright, I got this. Alright. Very good. <sighs> Thank God. Now let's go see how much your gun's sold for. Uh, do you have a plan with this? Come here, come here, come here. Right. Who the fuck do you think I am? Dude, of course I have a fucking plan. Have, well, you think you're out west right now? Some kind of fucking dusty shithole. No, I have a fucking plan. I've always got a plan. Hey, don't worry about it. Eventually, you'll know the intricacy of the plan. But for now, it's better for you and for me if I don't tell you. Okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> Bill wants to meet. Should I just tell him to fuck off? Bill wants to meet you. Yeah, yes. tell him to fuck right off. Don't, don't talk to that man. Not for a while. All right, fair enough. All right. I'll be back in a little while. All right. Keep me updated with this. Oh, definitely. <laughs> was, was that sarcasm? Nope. <laughs> Fuck, I told everybody, man. We got to contact Bill. Shit. <sighs> Uh, um, all right, well, I have to make measures. 
I have to make contingencies. If this particular blackmail gets out, the whole thing's fucked. However, if I can somehow implicate Bill or something else and lock him in, then it doesn't matter. We need, we need Bill to show his loyalty. And guess what? That's the name of the stream. Coincidence? Scripted. Fuck off. Zip. Okay. Well, we've done that conversation. Wesley, out. And so is Pete. Thank you, Wesley. What would I do without these updates, man? These really important fucking updates. Great to you, sir. How Fuck do you off. Do okay. I go. <laughs> I feel so bad. It was a joke, fella. Okay, I come back. <laughs> <laughs> Wallaby. We need to talk. Nothing from Mills. Nothing from Jack. Bye. How's everything with you? Ain't got nothing to complain about. <laughs> Isn't this that Mexican guy? Oh, that guy? Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Gazel. Is it Gazel? Gazil? Ga Gaz. Gazel. Gaz. Gaz, thank you for the 12 months, man. One year of support. Thank you so much, Odin. Thank you for the 18 long months. Appreciate you. What's the backup plan to build just trying to assassinate you while you're alone? Well, he can't afford to, man. He doesn't know what's what. Okay. Just trust me, okay? I got this. I got this. We just got to keep this under wraps for a little while longer while I set up another situation. Huh? Bobby doesn't need a backup plan. He has bluffing. There you go. There you go. Uh. First, you don't got this. Whoa, smoothie! How dare you, man? I find your lack of faith disturbing. Now, I don't know the details, guys, but I heard there were some fucking weird conversations going on in the goddamn meta chat today. Talking about the damn situation down in Blackwater. Don't know what the fuck that's about. People talking all kinds of nonsense. Do I have to go in there and start backhanding people? People like, people are like, why didn't Bill just talk to Law when he got told to grab the elixirs? Why didn't he just tell the Law? They could have just, they could have saved everybody. They could have arrested Wallaby. Why didn't he just whisper to them? It's not like, not like Wallaby could hear them or hear what he was saying or anything. I'll tell you why. Because it's fucking role play. That's why. And this is why, and, th and it's complaints like that, which is why all of, uh, uh, so many people do the, just do the hostage meta, just do the hostage meta, because you do anything under the hostage meta, you get fucking bitched about. Should have just, just taken 20 hostages to town, should have just said, give us what we want, then you could have had your chase, you could have shot us down, it would have been great fun for all involved. You do anything outside the fucking box, it's a problem. God damn it, man. I'm gonna lose my mind.
People wonder why every solution is just hostage. You're leaving. Uh, yeah, my uh, stepfather is getting executed in Blackwater. Oh, lovely. Well, give me my best. Well, I'm going to kill my mother as she dies. Yeah, all right. Have fun with that. All right. Nice to see you again. I'm gonna kill my mother. Uh. Exactly, law always whining. Well, I don't know if it was law specifically, but I didn't. I didn't read the whole thing. I just saw a couple of fucking posts, and it just makes me scratch my head. It's like we're just trying to generate role play, man. It ain't about doing the most logical thing. In fact. The best thing for roleplay is most of the time doing the illogical thing. Just fucking go with it. You can pick apart every decision. The guy was fucking scared. The guy had like people that could get hurt. He was terrified. He was nervous. He made mistakes. Deal with it. <laughs> yes, Pete. How you doing? I'm all right. Welcome back. Yes, indeed. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. How deep? Good evening. Howdy. How you doing? Oh, you know. Can't complain. Has anyone seen Mills? No. Can't say I have. I know Pete, she was looking for Alice earlier or something. She got arrested or, or she, sorry, she got shot and dragged or something like that. So I'm sure Mills will be, uh, taking care of that. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Good to know. Good luck to him, I suppose. Have you changed your fucking look again? I don't know why you keep saying that. I mean, well, you, I you, have you, just need to, you need to find a fucking look and stick with it. I have the same look. I just change my clothes. Right. He's over there talking about ear cheese on poor Alvin. I mean, think of the fucking cheese between all of you people. You wear the same clothes all the time. Change it up. I change yeah. often. What are you talking about? It's Alvin's birthday, by the way. Oh, oh is he? fucking great. He... I haven't seen him in a while. He might have gone I'm to sleep. I'm not sure if he... Yeah, he went, he went to sleep uh, about an hour ago. He said he'd be back in a bit. You all look very fancy. Thank you. Well, thank, you. thank you. It's a new tag. What is wrong with him? See? Who is that guy? I don't know. His name is name Pippi. Is Pippi. Oh, Pippi that fella again. And it drives me up the wall. Yep. I think it's hilarious. What's so hilarious about it? Because he's wearing straps and it's very, uh, very, uh, is ostentatious the word I'm looking for? You're wearing a red hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. All right. Well, we might have I some. Have, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you just heard, but there's an execution that Zip is going to also execute people at. Yeah, yeah, well, if you want to fucking, you, you know, instead of going there, let me tell you what's going to happen. Uh, Zip's going to jail, all right? There, I said it. Okay. Mm. Sorted. Yeah, there right. is I don't know. no fucking, don't know. there's no way that is working out good for anybody. Did you hear his plan? <laughs> no, what is it? The fellow who's going to execute it is apparently in relations with his mother, so he's going to let his mother watch her love get executed, and then he's going to shoot her in the back of the head. Because she's a snitch. As I said, he's going to fucking jail. So if you what? have anything to say to Zip, <laughs> yeah, make yeah. sure you say it. Did you get the spring filled off him at least? <laughs> uh, anybody? No, no. no. Why not? It was marked. 
all we right. Lot, we couldn't sell it. Was sell used to the assassinate pride. the president. <laughs> we can't have that kind of business on our hands. That didn't assassinate no fucking president. I was there. <laughs> we know. It was a whole goddamn story. We suddenly came up with, and then I swear to God, Zip was more convinced than anyone else. He was trying to convince us, the ones that came up with the story. I'm more upset that Eddie, Eddie dropped out of it like a little scaredy cat. Well, I really you know, want to tell did. stories about King Edwin and his modern day Excalibur pulling from the Iron Sheath. Okay, I, I have something important to ask, actually. Do we know when we're doing this Rocco funeral? Because mm. Wesley now wants that, to be there. Now that everybody's out, um, I can see if we can do it tomorrow. If that's okay with everyone. Yeah, that sounds good to me. What are we doing exactly? We're putting them in a canoe and we're sending them over the water. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's what we're doing, Edwin. That's what his wishes were, right? The funeral is not today, Wesley. Yeah, I know what the wishes. All Listen, right. um, Edwin, we're not. We're we're. That's what we're doing. What's wrong? <laughs> we're gonna toss him on a fucking boat and push him down the river. Fine, fuck it. Cold cruisy, pretty much. We can't. Yes, we Why? can. We unfortunately have something that's uh, hindering that process. No, we don't. What? What's that? The river dried up or something? Wallaby. <laughs> let, let him let him say why. Explain yourself, Eddie. I know we're going to have to figure out. I know what he's trying to say. No, no, no we're not doing that. Another option. No, we can't. Rocco would not be happy with any other arrangement. Mm, you're right. <laughs> okay. So does tomorrow work, Wesley? Fuck it. I, I mean, yeah, I could do today or tomorrow. I I'm mean, not going to miss it, right? Do we want to do a... What am I missing? Why can't we have now? Rocco... At Okay, I mean, all right, so help, me, me, and an me and Smokey, yeah, me and Smokey oh. had an idea of, okay, um, was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> role playing that we wanted to save money yeah, I mean, I can do later than and now. cutting up the, the Rocco's body it. and then you like do, discarding okay. it, it cheaply. Okay. And I wanted to ask permission from Wombax so if we could do that and he said no. So I, so I don't know why he's pushing like we're doing that, but we're not doing that, man. We're not fucking doing it. It's a fucked up idea, all right? I had to ask permission. It's one of those huh? moments we had to I, we had to ask permission for What's that. What's this other thing? Was there another thing? The disrespect, yeah, exactly. All right, it was a bad idea. I admit it, okay? But it would have been memorable, all right? It would have been memorable. So what about today's agenda? Well, where the fuck is Mills is what my question is. That's what I was just saying. I know yeah, Alice yeah. Uh, just gotten, she's supposed to get out of Sisica soon. She got arrested for something that happened a while ago. So she's Look at this crew, soon. man. Nearly everybody. Yeah, no Alvin and Matt, though. By Murray, and uh, he ended up in Sisica, must have beat him enough a bit. So I imagine Mills might be back around. He's got to deal with that shit, surely. He's not going to not come out for that, you know? He said that he wanted to come and talk to everyone, so... He was... Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be great. Alright. Well, you know what? I know you're standing around here. Who the fuck are these guys? I don't know, but that's an impressive walk. What the fuck is that? Hey, welcome to the Van Hall. What can we do for you? Oh, my 
What do you say? Oh, I think these are the security Eddie had. Oh, oh, gentlemen. Good to see you. Oh, hello, man, Eddie. How are you? Good oh, to that see reminds you. me. How y'all been? Oh, well, it's been a hell of a long Have story, a hell of a long adventure, isn't that right, Marcus? That reminds me, by the way. Yeah, I gotta talk to you, Mr. Mayor. It really is. Uh, I just need to go to the uh, the store over there because uh, there's a bit of randy to hide me out. So uh, I'll just go there and then I'll be, we'll be back you. over Come on. Yeah? I'm going to send All right, a perfect gentleman. Okay. All right, hey, ge gentlemen, we're going to be leaving the town today. Do me a favor, same patrol as usual. Patrol? Yes, man, we will do that, absolutely. And make sure to find me when you're done and we'll talk about the payments. All right, oh, fellas. Wonderful. What the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? You're the fuck mayor. The security. Why the fuck are people calling you the mayor? Who? The, those guys? Not just those guys. Just I've heard it a couple system. times now, Eddie. Oh, yeah? Well, it was yeah. probably by the people I associated with at the time. No, no. They told me that you charge. told them that you're Remember? the fucking mayor. I was. Stop telling people you're the fucking to... mayor. Okay, then I'll, next time when I'm in charge, I'll tell them I'm the gang leader. Why are you going to tell them anything at all? Because <laughs> that's how it works. Hey, fellas, I need you to work for me here. Listen, this little town right here, I need your help. I'm the mayor, so I'll pay your wages. You do that for me? Yes, sir, mayor, and they get right to it. I mean, what's so complicated? What do you think? Ooh, you think you've dropped from six feet up or higher? Down on your knees. Would you like that <laughs> title again? Would you like me to hand that title to you again, Mr. Mayor? I've never called my, I've never called myself the mayor once. What was that about? I've never called myself the mayor once. Call. What are you fucking talking about? That's the point. We call ourselves whatever we want. We make nothing out of something. Is a governor higher than the mayor? Have you asked him about his milk runs yet? No, I haven't got to that part. What milk runs? Ah, Jesus Christ. What do you mean? Why, why did this happen? What? Oh, that's never got talked about with him as a group, yeah. Okay. Alright. We could head out west, you know, look for Mills. Yelling. I'll switch up my telegram, see if Bill's around. All right, we're good to move. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, you're facing the wrong way. Where are we going? I was. Okay. He just. We could check him this way. We going this way. <laughs> Bye. 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 Eddie's having a meeting with the security. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, I don't even yeah, know yeah, who those people I, are. I no It'll catch up. We were just saying we, we still haven't talked to him about that the serum stuff. Yeah, we'll get into that. We got all uh, fucking day. No up. rush. Maybe he won't catch up. Oh no, he's coming. Alright. Giddy up. Go to Saint Denis. Would you? Would you? What the fuck are you doing? Look, there's a lot of people behind. You also should stop by the bank. Yeah, they're doing me just a bit loud, isn't it? The fuck is so loud for? The fuck? Why are we riding like this today? This is me. Riding like what? I see you're still riding that fucking white horse though, huh? You want me to ride 
No, no, I want you to ride where the fuck you want to ride. You know what? Maybe I want to ride the other Give me one second. Is this a metaphor for something? I'll turn the music down just a tad. Oh, that's very kind. There we go. All right, this is why. Time for a train? Ah, oh, I'd love to do a train, man. But, um... Scott, I think you need to go to the stable as well. I gotta be careful. I don't want to be doing... I don't want to be in court for, for no, no crimes right. right now. The Young Wolf. Thank you for the 14 months. 14 months with the goat. Go oh. Oh. How kind, man. We're gonna head out to the west and find Mills. We shouldn't have to ride out west to find him, but here we are. And I've... I thought we crashed there for a second. <laughs> can't, she's very, I can't believe she's riding this white horse over the one that he, that wallaby gave her. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. Wesley's not officially in yet. He's proved that he's ready. But we need a group discussion for that. He's a candidate, for sure. Is going to be the talk with Mills? I mean, if he's over there. Weird. Any are any of you wanted? I don't think any of us are wanted. And if we are, it's probably minor stuff that law probably won't bother with seeing us together. Does it include Matt or is he in? Matt's in. Matt is in. Can we start the telegrams on the way? That's what we're doing. That's cool. We're going to the bank as well. All right. Taking a ride. I should have asked where this execution is happening. Might be happening out west. Potentially Saint Denis. I hope it's not Saint Denis though. That's bubble confirmed. Blackwater. Yeah, that makes sense. He probably told me I wasn't listening. <laughs> I did skip his exposition. <laughs> uh, listen, man. Just gotta stay, you gotta stay true to the character, you know?
I don't think Wallaby listened to too much of what he said. I heard what he said, man, okay? I was present. Fantastic, Eddie. Can't wait to go back. Um, I just heard from Ayla. She's out now. So if anyone know where he is, she is. Um, no. What's that? Ayla is out. We want to go meet her, or I want to her. see Mills. Yeah, but I mean, she's nowhere else. Well, that's where we're headed. We're heading west. That's where she is, right? No, she's out of Cisco, so she's. On this side, I said that I could go pick her up a while ago, but I haven't heard from her. And she just said she was out. She won't know fucking shit if she just got out. She knows as much as we do. We had West. I assume we're heading that way anyway. Yeah. No. I got with you. Alright. Meet you there, alright? Hmm. Interesting. Come on, Irene, let's go. Oh! Lock! 0687, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Holy cow. Welcome to the brand new subs. Thank you for your generosity, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream, keeping me going. Love you. How you doing, man? 48 in total. Beast. Thank you, dude. <clears throat> I should have asked when the execution was. Um, I wanted to actually connect get on your horse when we get to the stables and talk to you about some things. We can't wait. It's about mess. Well, we can talk about it as a fucking group then, because that's a group fucking discussion. Well, what do you hear? What do you say? Oh, that motherfucker! Hi, oh my god, he's on his fucking wall. This is not the group I thought I'd encounter. Who'd you think he'd encounter? I'm uh, nobody. I'm, I'm handling something at the moment. <laughs> Well, good so luck. Brings you all to lovely Saint Denis. Let's think about robbing the bank. I see. Hoorah. That's my form Hoorah. of levity. I know, I know. I was just, you know, I can't really laugh at that because it's not. You know what I mean. I thought it's pretty funny. Me too. <laughs> Why <laughs> so much of yours? <laughs> Uh, we got a little thing going on that we uh, have planned and have to handle. Oh, oh yeah. Execution. Mm -hmm. You need 50 law people to kill a man. You know, it's not 50, but it is a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we'll leave you to it. Have a yeah, fun right. time. Nice horse, by the way. Yeah, thanks. See you later. Bye, have fun. I wonder if I can fucking help it. God damn it, man. Why did she talk to you like you were five and you didn't know how to count to 50? I just had a funny feeling that I don't think we're going to find Mills out west. Uh, yeah, strange. Yeah, Maybe. that's what I'm saying. I feel like we should just ask Alice. Yeah, let's go ask Alice then. Fine. Let's go ask Fine, let's go fucking ask Alice. Fuck it. Where is I, she then? I, th I heard she was arrested today. Yeah, she was, I was gonna pick her up over at the docks, but then 
we said we were gonna go west. So she's probably somewhere over here. I ain't going back into town. Fuck them. There's too much okay. law around for my let's liking. Go, let's go to Rhodes and then I'll tell Grammar. God fucking damn it. We're missing. We're missing Eddie. No, he's on our left. He's just far on the left. Oh, right, there he is. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Dude. Shark Chip. Thank you for the five gifted subs, my, my friend. Thank you so much. It's very kind of you. Welcome to the brand new subs. Skinny soul thing for 15 months. What happened? Headache? Did she crash? Yeah, she crashed. Mills being in a bush for months. Yeah, I've heard the excuses, man. Mills is in a bush because he was the most wanted. Too dangerous to go out and fight, you know? I heard the excuse, man. I heard the excuse! I have it noted down. I want my fucking gun back. That's what I want. I have to take it off rabbit. Should we just go wait around roads, send her a telegram or something? Like old times, let's go to the parlor house. Paula House. Give it a minute. Might as well wait. I'm gonna stop at the telegram office anyway. I meant Alice, not not her. We wait for her. Well. Yeah, we can maybe wait around Rome. Uh, speaking of Rabbit, you inviting her to Van Horn? I have already invited Rabbit to Van Horn. Sound like Rabbit was going to accept the invite. Apparently, yeah. Lot of fucking law to kill a man. Well, they normally have a lot. Whether it's normal or not doesn't fucking matter. It's a lot of people to kill a man. Just takes a fucking bullet, for God's sake. That's what it is. It's a celebration. They're all getting out there to celebrate the fucking murder. Fuck them. If I had known there was a fucking funeral today, we could have done a bank robbery.
There's going to be some craziness, I think, at Blackwater. It's probably going to be one of those crazinesses that just completely goes to shit. <laughs> I don't see it. I don't see, I, like Events like this are really hard to do anything significant at because of bubble issues and such. What'd you say? Everyone's asking if he's going to need a long arm for this. Pete's pissing. He'll be in there. Yeah, yeah. What's she saying? What do you want me to tell her? What is she saying? She she said that uh, she's in San Denis. She said, I don't think he is awake because he would have sent me a telegram. Guess he's still resting, right? Yeah, I guess so. Should we meet her and Van Horn? And what? What then? I don't know. <sighs> what do you want to do? Yeah, go back to Van Horn. I'll meet you all at Van Horn. Son of a bitch. Law already complains that Wallaby should have been executed ages ago. You know, they can go fuck themselves. Anyone that's complained about that can go fuck themselves. My reaction to the law that have said that would be, well, you know what? The amount of times I fucking gunned you down, maybe you should fucking perma too. How about that? Because you should be perma as well because you've been shot like 100,000 fucking times. Why are you about my perma? What about your fucking own character? I don't think anyone has said that. Well, then that that message goes out to nobody then. Because I didn't say law as a whole. I said law that has said that. So if no one has said it, then no harm done. Man, I tell you what. We're in a tough situation with Mills. Because on one hand... On one hand, like... Mills is like a big brother, right? He's, he's, he's like the big brother that Wallaby lost. He, he reminds him a lot of, of Joey. But at the same time, I mean, fuck, Mills, man, he... <sighs> Look. Mills Mills said to Wallaby that he told Jack that he was with Van Horn Wallaby and that he's a man of his word, right? But as soon as, like, anyone said anything or things got, like, tough, he just fucking bailed on us, man. Now that's the reality of the situation, right? As shitty as it is, that's kind of the situation we're in right now. Because he did leave.
is very reactionary, very emotional, right? You are, uh, you're out west, you know, you're getting in a lot of scraps, a lot of uh, brouhaha's, <laughs> a lot of, um, there's, there's the alert. Um, a lot of emotional stuff, a lot of anger, hostility. That's like part of the West. Whereas the East is a lot like... I want to compare it to Game of Thrones, man. Like every gang knows that there's a knife behind everybody's back. You 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 lose influence out East and you, you get swallowed up. You get spat out. Someone else takes your fucking spot. Like we're, we're on good terms with other gangs, but at the same time, it's for business reasons. We're not like the West where everyone's kind of, you know, good mates and... We're in the West. We don't like law out here. Whereas the East, everyone's vying for power, like constantly looking for power and money and to get a leg up. It's rough, man. It took us, a, like, keep in mind how long it took Wallaby to get the respect that, that he's got. It took us so long to get respect from any of the fucking gangs out here. It's fucking torturous. To work your damn ass off to get respect out in the east. I'm not saying that it's not the same out west, but it's for it's for different reasons. Does the person who played Gavin Summers still play? It? Yeah, he still role plays on a server. I think he's playing a lawman at the moment. With Mills consistently throughout Wallaby's entire story. Well, we've we've tried, man. We've tried. I mean, this is the, is this the second time we've tried to team up with Mills? It just hasn't worked out, man. It just it just hasn't worked out for us. It just isn't meant to be. I mean, we tried, man, on our end. I'm I, we tried on our end, man. We 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 did what we. What we could to make it work. End of the day, he's just he's very he's very loyal to um to the ideals and KG and Jack and all them. Those are his those are his his best friends, his closest allies, his family, all that. Which is why he should just told Wallaby no. It could, this conversation eventually, when it happens, it could be. It could go so many ways, man. It might go bad. Who I don't know how bad it's gonna be, but. 
the tension's building because of how long it's taken to happen. That's going to happen. from Wallaby's point of view. I love Mills. It's going to be a rough talk. Oh. Potentially. Yeah. Potentially. Thing is, Wallaby... Wallaby grew up idolizing Mills. You know what I mean? Never meet your heroes is what Jack Kettleman told Wallaby once. Wallaby shits on Mills like he shits on Eddie every time he goes to Sissica. I mean, Wallaby, I think shitting on Eddie is a bit of a rough take. He's critical of the decisions he makes, but that comes from a place of wanting, like, Eddie to be better at leading. There's nothing wrong with criticizing or giving advice. It's a different situation. What the fuck, that shit. I see Mills talking his way out of it and Wallaby because he loves Mills letting it go, which I hope that doesn't happen. Well, the thing is, Wallaby will probably, I mean, the likelihood of Wallaby making it any worse than just like a sad breakup is like not likely however there are people in the gang that are like pissed like eddie eddie i believe eddie is isn't happy that was a body on the back of his horse for a second eddie and scout the only two i see making it major Mills would just say that he doesn't want to die for anyone out there besides the kid. But that's the whole fucking... Pr that's the whole crux of the problem, man. Is that we... Like, Wallaby made it very clear. It's not about... It's not about... Mills and Wallaby. We we're meant to be equals. We we're meant to build something up together. I didn't ask him to come do some bank robberies with us and join us in a couple of shootouts. I was saying, come... Be with me, join up with me, and we can lead, and we can build something up that can be remembered forever. And that was the whole fucking thing. It was never about, hey, come help me do a couple bank fucking robberies. It wasn't a job. It wasn't a fucking project. It was supposed to be something better than that, bigger than that. So the whole, I did it for the kid... Or he did, it, he did it for the kid. It's not the fucking point. That's not what... It's not going to cut it. It's supposed to be more than that. Should tell Mills that? Well, that's, a, that's the thing. we got to have that scene. Because I don't know what Mills is going to say. I don't know where Mills' head is at. We haven't had a conversation. We haven't had even a hint of a conversation. Which is, like, it's interesting because Mills has been spending a lot more time out west and with Jack. But he hasn't officially been kicked out of Van Horn. 
I keep, I, uh, there hasn't been a discussion about about him being out or anything like that. Mills abandoned the project. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to deny, man. It's hard to deny. Maybe, you know, maybe we're reading the whole fucking situation wrong. Maybe he rides in the Van Horn. He's like, kid, I'm here to the end. Who knows? We have no idea where his head's at. It's hard to tell. Mills is wishy-washy. Well... Let's not, let's not, um, put the wagon for the horse. What do you like about this place? Oh, I don't know. The fact that it's, it's over here and then it's very, it's very Hang limited. Yeah. Now we need to talk. Sure. Oh, no, I did. That's about it. Has everyone seen Irene? She went to the telegram station with that scrotum fella. We think. She just said she'll be back. I don't His know. His name's not fucking scrotum, is it? It's something else. It's scrump. Scrump. <laughs> oh, well. Stop calling him fucking scrotum, poor guy. Okay. <laughs> Who coined that Sorry. name? I think Peaches did. Oh, all right then. Well, then it's not your fault. Scrump around. Interesting. All right, Eddie, come on. Right, well, I'm not right really... now, Free. I don't think the, these locals will do any more damage, but <laughs> I don't think they will, but we'll have to see. <laughs> so, what we'll do... Scrump is cool. Yeah. Haven't had much scenes with him, but he, it's always been cool. Wait for Irene. She sure. wants to tell me something about Mel's. And since you're my number one guy, I thought it important that you're there as well. Sure. That way I don't have to relay nothing. Wallaby did? Did I? Okay. How you feeling? I wonder what... I wonder what... I'm wondering what she's got to, to tell. I'm balancing something on my shoulders. And to be honest... I'm just waiting for the appropriate time to loop. You know what I mean? What do you mean loop? Loop. What do you mean loop? Open up the floor to... Oh. For strategies. I see. All right, well, maybe you can Delicate enlighten stuff. me after we talk to Irene. More of a group decision or a discussion. Oh god, the junkie's coming. Say. Fred, how you sorry, doing? Dude. Sorry to interrupt, fellas. Uh just checking out how long you guys reckon you'll be talking for. No no rush or nothing, but I was just figuring out uh if I could go off and do a run real quick. Yeah, you got time. Go take ahead. Me like twenty minutes. Yeah, I got time. Right. Yeah. Take it easy. God damn junkie. We're gonna need that junkie's advice. What are you planning? Well, I'll tell you. I was hoping to maybe he would do it with Jack. Hmm. How's the arm? That's what Jack's even about. Fellas and Telegram me in days. Well, that's just sent me neither. Yeah, well, if either one of them showed up, it would have been nice. I was even so generous enough to probably get them in on this, you know? Let them know that's the cold. information. That's cold. Everyone should know. Hey, he still loves him. He's still our favorite junkie. <clears throat> yeah, well, that's what you get for trusting, putting any sort of hope and ambition and standard to old fucking has-beens now. 
Fuckers are tired. They need their nap. You still got an agenda, right? I'm working things out, yeah. Hmm. We'll figure out something. That's what we do. We figure out ways around these things. Where the fuck is Irene? She's checking her telegrams with Scump. Yeah, I know that, but what's taking so fucking I mean, long? Well, if you want to pursue, I suppose we could catch her halfway. Yeah, let's do that. Getting heat? Can you imagine? I have to fucking kill Scrump. That's a shame. Does he have these guys being lookouts on the fucking tower? You know what game I'm looking forward to is Baldur's Gate 3. That game is looking good, bro. And no, I'm not going to stream it. That, that has offline, just chill written all over it. We got Baldur's Gate 3, and then a couple weeks after that, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, bro, next month is going to be a good month. It's going to be a good month, man. Can't wait. <clears throat> I won. Where is she? Even though you tried to make me crash. I don't see her fucking horse. God fucking damn it. Irene! Well, we didn't meet her. Huh. When and where, Bill? No, no, that's not. F no, that's not fuck with the snow, dude. Butcher's Creek. Butcher's Creek, one hour. Wallaby. Butcher's Creek, one hour. Go to Ellie, Eddie about Bill. If you don't want to get in any trouble, there is a deputy inside this office, so... Oh, I'm not wanted. Have you seen Irene around? No, haven't met her. So you're telling me that Irene came out this way with this scrum fella, but now she's gone and so is he. Apparently so, yeah, it seems. What the fuck? Pretty sure you saw her, didn't you? Like they rode off together at a, uh, yeah. at a van horn. Yeah, I just assumed that they Which were direction there. did they go? This way? This way, yeah. Fucking damn it. Where well, should we keep an eye out for her? Yes, look for her! What the fuck? It's the list? God. Oh, the list. Those were the days.
Where's Eddie? Fuck. I need the bathroom. Right back, guys. I'm back. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> I knew that was going to be bad. What happened to Eddie? What happened to Eddie? Uh, some guy tried to assassinate him. You all right, Eddie? Yeah. All right, help him up. Just on a bite on some tree bark. The fuck are they? Wallaby. Yes. Do you like my new horse? His name is Blackjack, and he looks just like Scout's horse, only little. Very nice, Harry. <laughs> Here you go, you can have him. No, take him up to the medical room. Yeah, don't just leave him here. I was gonna hand him to you. Why is she going off with Scrump, man? Why is she going off with Scrump? Okay, gently on the bed. Fucking damn it. Should probably ask her. Why would, man? If she was to be seen. Did she say anything to Scrump before she left? Um, no, I just kind of, we rode into town and she went, oh, hi, and then they just left. She said it like that. Yeah, like how she, how she does sometimes with specific people. She might have gone, oh, howdy. In that tone of voice. Do you know where I read and Scrump is? Uh, she said, we'll be back. And they rode off on a horse together. What does that know. fucking mean? I assume they were going to the telegram office because she's been checking every like five minutes. She should be able to find, man. Her horse is so easy to fucking see. <clears throat> the only other place <clears throat> I can think of at this direction is the house where 
her mother used to be. She's so easy to spot. Why can't I see her? Because she's in the tree somewhere. In the fucking hills. Have a little rendezvous, eh? Yeah, right. see him can't be seen publicly talking to him I'm gonna fucking sneeze in a second I feel it. Where's this fucking house? There's another house here. The lair of bondage. Listen, if she's in the lair of bondage with him, it's fucking over. <laughs> Check behind the house. Dude, there was no... No. I would have seen the white horse. Waterfall as well. I know she's spent time up here before. I'm not seeing that white horse though. There's any fucking other houses around. Like the laboratory? This hardly seems like a place they'd go. I know there's like... Houses like here. That's like, it seems just so... Out of the way. Maybe they just went to like a town somewhere. maybe Is there anywhere in Hannesburg to go I mean like the fucking cave <laughs> and by the way I don't really care all that much but Wallabies he's fucking hot headed about this kind of shit they are going off with a strange men strange men for no reason And you know, let's not mention that we're gonna be meet we're gonna be meeting Bill in like forty minutes, okay? Let's not bring that up. Oh shit, wrong way. Maybe she saw you at the grave. 
What does that got to do with anything? What does that got to do with anything, man? She's a jealous girlfriend. She's jealous. She's jealous of a corpse. Is what you're telling me. Shut up, man. Where the fuck am I going? Imagine if they're at Butcher's Creek. <laughs> That'd be funny. Both pick the same fucking spot. Probably worth checking at this point. Where is it? Let's go check Butcher's Creek. Perfectly innocent. Oh, it's probably 100% innocent. Unless. Unless you could telegram her. And how's she gonna answer a fucking telegram when she's in fucking bed with Scrub? Forrest Noob, thank you for 43 months, dude. Well, if they're not here, man, I'm telling you right now, they must be back in Van Horn, or they've gone pretty far away. Cause I can't think of any anywhere else, like close by. Is that Bill? Is that just an NPC? He not here this early, is he? He fucking is here this early. <sighs> Fuck, I might as well do this then. What? Bro, he's fucking 45 minutes early. Alright, fine. There's nothing better to do. Fucking damn it. <laughs> Love it. Punctual, huh? Yeah, well. My ass is getting sore from sitting around. Thought you'd be used to that by now. How are you doing, Bill? How are you holding up? I'm tougher than I look. Are you? You looked a little shaken up when I left you yesterday. 
Yeah, you'll have to excuse me. So you've recovered that. I can see the position that I'm in. Go on. Then you've realized I'm going to be your best friend. Yeah, you'll be the Braithwaite to my kid. That's right. I... I have use of you, but you must understand that if... You do what's right. It's in my best interest to make sure you thrive. We can go a long way, you and I. You just be careful not to show me your back. Now, oh, now. Is that a way to talk to your friend? <laughs> what do you want, kid? Why'd you call me to this shit all? What? No chit chat. No bonding. Breaks my heart, you Bill. Your heart, I don't want to be your friend, kid. Well, oh, you say that now. But I'm the only one that fucking cares about you. I'm looking out for your best interest. You see, if I was a citizen like you law dogs want me to be, if I was reformed, I would have gone to the law with that little nugget of information. Reported a crime. But instead, I thought of you, and I want better for you. You're lucky I'm such a... giving outlaw. Yeah, it's very kind of you to look after yourself like that. <laughs> You're depressing me, Bill. What? If it's sunshine you're after, you come see me in New Austin. New Austin. <laughs> yeah, we'll discuss that at a later date. I told you I'd have work for you. And I do. We'll call this a test. Oh God. Suit yourself. Oh my God. Jesus What Christ. are they doing here? Just don't move. They're my people. They know about this? Who you tell? Huh? They do not. Keep fucking still and keep your mouth shut. Go hide. Not that way you fucking fine. Move. Have you found her? No, no but no. we got a tip from a random uh, man that crossed our ways. He said there was an accident and he helped uh, two ladies uh, to saint -Denis probably. But he couldn't remember if she had a red bow or a red hat wearing. So that's the only tip we got. 
where we could search for Miss Peaches. All right, head to Saint Denise, see if that's her. I'm looking around here. We'll do. I checked some houses up in uh, Annisburg, but and then made my way down here, but I haven't seen anything. Well, if she's not in Saint Denis, then go back to Van Horn. I'll see you there. All right. Night. I'll have to sleep here. Y'all take care, okay? All right. Yeah. Have a nice rest. And everyone's coming to goddamn Butcher's Creek. Where did he go? Already almost spotted, man. I'm getting out of this fucking place. This was a mistake. Next time you pick somewhere, I'm not gonna get myself fucking killed just seeing you, huh? You fucking listen up, you son of a bitch. You will do what I tell you to do, and from now on, when you meet me, get some fucking clothing on that ain't gonna get you spotted. Follow me. I'm gonna make this very quick and simple for you. Get inside though. Jesus Christ. For fuck's sake. <laughs> hey, you listen up. I'm not one of your Van Horn girls to be shoved in a closet like this. You're a funny guy, Bill. Real funny. Let's see if you like this joke. I want you to go through the reports at your station. I want you to look through any open file and see if anyone has spoken to the law about me or my people. If there Ever. has, I want the name. Ever. Since when? Since ever. Any Your whole lives here. No. Anything not archived. I want names uh, if there's any. You tell I grab me. Do not use your name. Just send me the names. Fine. You wait here till I leave. I expect a telegram by tonight. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's so fucked. <laughs> Where did I put me horse? Where did I put my horse? I thought it was over here. Huh. Guess not. I do have his gun, yes. Well, this is the first... First test. I'm not expecting any names because I just got out of jail, but it's a good like starting point. And when he sends me, if he does send me any, any information, that's something I can blackmail him with. That's something extra that he's done wrong. That's evidence. We've got to keep that, that telegram. That's an insurance policy. That's why we're doing this.
should make a black metal folder. Yeah, I probably should. I probably should. Imagine if Mills popped up. Oh my god. Just waiting to see him make up a lie. It'd be too dangerous for him to do that, man. He's, his life is on the line, bro. If he didn't have a badge, he's dead. He's as good as dead. He loses everything. Is he going to risk that? For a criminal that spoke to law? I don't think he will, man. He hates these fucking criminals. He probably sees Wallaby killing one of them as a good thing. We found her, so we cuffed her so she couldn't leave again. Where was she? Uh, off with Scrump. I don't know. You can interrogate her. We caught her! She has been got. Where the fuck have you been? I, I, I was having a conversation for like 15 minutes. It, it was a very short one. I want these cuffs back. Please take them off of me. Oh, I'm yeah, so yeah, you went out riding about with Scrump, eh? Yeah, he's behind you. Um, I was hoping we could give him work. Oh, hello, Scrump. Around. Lovely to see you again. Two wallabies. Now, what the fuck were you doing with him by yourself somewhere? Where were you? Well, I, I, we were just over the hill. It wasn't far. Over the hill, huh? Which hill? Yeah. At the cave of bondage. What? No, not at the cave of bondage. No. That's Jack's domain. Damn, he had to go and say that. There was conversation. I had to. I had to. I had to say it. I had to. But there was no bond. You all are Jack? the bonding me. Jack said that you spent a lot of time there. Well, you know, Jack. What the fuck am I hearing right now? There's nothing. There was nothing. Scrump, scrump, come on. Come on. There's what? nothing going on there. What the and fuck Jack? were you talking about? Just. I, I've Catching been up. I've been back in town after quite some while. I don't know if I even mentioned it to you, but I was in Australia, <laughs> of all places. Oh, that's nice, Scrum. That's real nice. Now tell me, what were you talking to her about? We well, are just what she doing said that I was looking for work and I was trying to get the lay of land with you, so even if you need any men. So this is why you went to a private location. Um, Are you lying to me? I didn't reckon we thought it was private. Did we? Just went someplace, that's all. Yeah, it's... No, 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 look at me. Is that why you went out and spoke to him over the hill? To talk about work? You tell me right now that's the truth, I'll believe you. Amongst other things, yes. Yes. He, 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 I wanted to bring him into work here. Looking for money, are you, Scrum? Money, raise a little hell, that kind of thing. You. Yeah. All right. You're gonna have to give me a few minutes to talk to my lady here. Sure. And maybe we can talk about a way to make you some money. Suits me. No, I need to talk to both of you. Eddie and you. She's lying, man. What do they talk about? It's karma for Boyd. <laughs> yeah. Poor Wallaby. I don't think anything happened, but she's definitely lying. Now we have things to discuss. I'll get to scrump in a little bit with you, but for now... 
We have bigger fish to fry. You wanted to talk about Mills. Yes. Well, since Eddie here, he's working closely with me. It's better that we all talk together so I don't have to relay it back. What is it you wanted to speak about? Oh, well, I just kind of wanted to warn you Mills was feeling some type of way. I think that he should talk about it with you and I don't want to you know, speak for him. But I didn't Where you've spoken to him. Mind. Yes. He said he wanted to speak to you and was waiting for you to get out of Siska. And how's he feeling? And not good. Um, he doesn't feel like he's welcomed out here. Oh. Oh, the big bad outlaw Mills doesn't feel wanted out here. I mean, to be fair, I sympathize with that. When I came back, it was not to a warm reception or... Right. And look what you did. You put your head down, you got to fucking work, you move the fuck on. That's what we do. People aren't gonna get along all the time. Even me and Eddie here, we've had our differences. So have you. You've had your differences with Eddie and with me. We move the fuck on. We do what's best. So tell me again, how's he feeling? He said he wanted to discuss it with you all. But he's, he's feeling... He doesn't seem to be feeling great. You say unwelked. Who's making him feel like that? Anyone specific? Well, well you. Um, <laughs> but apparently, Harry and Dakota and some of the others made some comments. Um, but he, he specifically brought up you, Eddie. Um, he was saying something like, you said that you could run Van Horn better than him, and so he said, all right, you think that? Then be my guest. He also was saying that he did not say that Van Horn was dead. That he wanted to bring people out west because there is a lot of heat on everyone. And wanted to keep moving. What else did he say? I mentioned, um... How I was feeling similar, but uh, we both made commitments and to not go back. And he said that he had done his job and fulfilled the commitment. He fulfilled his commitment? What does that mean? People, he said that the deputies are scared to come to Van Horn. And that was what you asked him to do. But again, these are things that should come from his mouth. I could be saying it in a way that he doesn't mean, so I don't want you to take this as fact. I just didn't want you to come into that conversation with males, being blindsided by all these things. I, I understand where he's coming from, not feeling welcome, but I think that this needs to be discussed. Boo-hoo, fella. Isn't that what they say out west? Boo yeah. fucking who. I think you can, if you talk to him again, reassure him that Eddie is very diplomat. And I think we can all have a talk about this and focus on the bigger picture because that's what we do. Right, guys? He looked me in the eye. He looked me in the eye, Eddie. He told me that he was committed to Van Horn and that he's a man of his word and he doesn't break his word for anybody. But now he's fulfilled right. some kind of contract, some kind of goal. I can e expand on that a little bit more in detail. I had a conversation with Jack Ketterman when I was in the middle of uh, 
delivering milk. The consensus is when I explained to Jack that, you know, Jack, Jack's Jack. And I like Jack because Jack's Jack. You know what, Jack? I don't see there being a problem. And there's always a possibility to work in the future, right? Because I know what's up. His Mills reasoning to Jack was the $9,000 worth of charges that he gathered when he was riding with you in the heat of the uh, agenda. Well, that's enough, you know? So he's done his piece. I tried to explain, you know, that, you know, you build a chicken coop and you forget to build the roof. You know, there's no, what was the point of building the fucking chicken coop in the first place? But that's kind of the, the consensus. Was I, this coming from Mills or from Jack? Uh, this Just to is what, this is what Jack told We're me. We're holding a trial about a defense said. here. Well, where is no. the defense, man? I've been waiting. Me, I told Jack, I was, I was very diplomatic and I told Jack, listen, um, I'll repeat this again. And I'll say, you know, just wait, um, patience waiting for, uh, our friend, Mr. Wallaby to get released from jail. We can all have a conversation if we must. And no one's asking for consequences. No one's asking for that much explanations, maybe some concessions. Ooh, we hated that word. And I said, you know, uh, in the grand scheme of things, big picture. You know, big picture here. Um, and hear much word back. But the man's, you know. What else did Jack say? Hard to talk to a ghost. You know? Well, that's just it. You know, Jack's got a plan. And talked about the meat grinder. Not that. Did he say anything about Van Horn? Anything else about Mills? I've got to be honest, I don't think that we should trust anything of what Jack says about me. Whether I trust him or not, I want to fucking hear it. I want to know what's Libby being said, said out fucking West. I believe he said that Mills said that he was there for you. And he did his part with the $9,000 uh, worth of charges, the most wanted man. Uh, Wait, what? He did well, say that's... to me as well that he, yeah, he, he racked all these charges up, going to bat for us. So that motherfucker was have... like two thousand days wanted when he fucking joined Van Horn. The fuck is he talking about? Well, that's his excuse. Um, he bragged about it when he came into Van Horn. Oh, I'm so wanted, Wallaby. I haven't been caught in a long time, Wallaby. But now it's all for Van Horn, right? All right. What else? Um. Well, that was as much as I would get into it. I didn't really want to get into that because I knew it would have went nowhere unless we have a, all have a conversation together. We then proceeded to talk about jobs and organizations and meat grinders and if we could get past this hump God damn it, we Mills. could all do something great for the bigger picture but I don't know there seems to be a couple of people avoiding not consequences but con even concessions well I feel like I feel like if you, you like a Jack such, stare. He, he's like a little kid right he, he hears what he wants to hear and if you say the word concessions he is going to use that <laughs> to flip it of oh you just want to go to war you just want to do all this stuff so i'd be careful about that word specifically no no no. i use that word specifically i could have used consequences oh, that's, well, an, that's a better word you know which i definitely think he should have done but i'm willing to even drop the whole thing for the bigger picture i i do feel like I don't trust a goddamn thing Jack ever says because he has taken and twisted so many goddamn words. Well, everything that Jack that... has told Eddie sounds like Mills told you. Well, kind yeah. of, yeah. Yeah, that's and fair. Listen, uh, you know, 
I've worked with Jack in the past due to certain di differences and circumstances. I'm pretty sure you can take the man on what he gives you, you know? Whatever, yeah, whatever but... Jack is saying is what the whole West is fucking saying. And I'll tell you what, Jack told me a long time ago when Mills first came here, he said, Mills is part of Van Horn as a project. He called it a project. And I came, I went to Mills, I said, this is fucking talk about project. Mills fucking laughed at me. So that's bullshit. Never said anything of the sort about any project. But it sounds like exactly what it was. He came in here, he thinks he did some kind of fucking job that moves the god, you know, moves on. He was never one of us. Period. Check in telegrams, I'll come talk to Scrump. Wes looking down the kid. Oh, but they've always done that for the most part. That doesn't bother us none, really. The West couldn't make it out east, man. Too cutthroat out here. Just 9k in debt. 9k fine, where the fuck? I'm not lying, by the way. He was he was talking about he was like one of the most wanted when he first came into Van Horn. Why is it now all of a sudden all the fucking crimes were for Van Horn? That's bullshit, man. He had like two shootouts with us and a couple of bank robberies. Which I can almost guarantee he's already probably done just as much or more with Jack since Jack's been back. I don't want to fucking hear it, man. He's done with his contract project, fella. Yeah, man. Breaks my heart. Not to mention he shot up Bill. Yeah, man. Bill, our best friend. He fucking even shot Bill up, guys. I mean, do we have to forgive that? more than Mills. It'd be close, but yeah, maybe. Well, he did he, he did the project, man. He made Law scared of Van Horn. God, I hope he says that to Wallaby's face. God, I hope he says that to Wallaby's face that he's the reason why Van Horn's feared. Please. Yeah. Alright. I heard that you fellas wanted to have a little chit chat with me. That's still the case. I don't believe it's necessary, Wallaby. Alright. Alright, Thank you, you very much. Much. You got that shotgun yet? Yeah, absolutely. No, I just, uh... Eddie just what? asked me the same question. What's he after one, two, is he? Uh, Scrum, do you like playing cards? Well, for the fun of so it, sure. <laughs> What job can I give Scrum? What job can I give Scrum? Sorry, it's not a booby deck. You sure you won't give me this? Yeah, I don't need it. I collect decks all the time. Welcome back, Pete. Right. Thank you, Miss Harry. Howdy! You good? Uh, Probably gonna have to put down my head for tonight, but I'll be around a lot more tomorrow. Feeling tired, are you? Yeah. Yeah, I understand. Alright then, I'll see you tomorrow then. Yeah. Hmm. 
rob some from the execution site. That sounds like a horrible idea. It was bubbling. Though the guy must be dead by now, right? Rob Mills. Uh, Mills ain't our enemy, man. Mills ain't our enemy. At least not yet. I don't know where this is going to lead, but it's probably nowhere fucking good. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Just peachy. Yeah. Not your enemy until Jack gets annoyed at a throwaway comment and tells Mills to kill Wallaby. I don't know if Mills would do that. I don't think Mills would do that. He changes on a reliable ally. Well, no, he's a reliable ally. He's just not. He's just not one of us, man. Van Horn wasn't anything more than just a favor. Which is unfortunate because that was like the whole thing was. It's not a favor. It's like we're supposed to be doing this together, man. It was never supposed to be just a favor. still talking over there. Uh, there's a lawman I want you to hurt Scrump. His name is Jesse. <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be quite funny. <laughs> What are you looking at? When you're enjoying yourself, you think it's fucking funny, do you? I'm gonna smack him, Indeed. but I can't. You lucky son of a bitch. Bobby. Yeah. At some point, we should go to the bank. Why? Because I have money that I need to put in the bank. How much? $2,000. Jesus. Yeah, all right. Where'd you get that money from? Uh, Pete. All right. Uh. Hey, you got a minute? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Give me a few minutes. Are you telling us to give you a few minutes or are you telling them? It's fair. Huh? Nothing. There's a bit of a proposition here that, that uh, Peaches, you know, despite whatever it is, whatever the circumstances is, this is how she sees how it should be dealt with the most diplomatic way. Yeah, can we talk someplace a little more privately than right here, though? Yeah, yeah. Why are we up the fucking hill? Yeah, okay, let's go. No, I'm not up the fucking hill, but I'm, I'm still wondering why you need to go up a fucking hill to have a conversation. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Well... Bullshit. You just walk down the fucking street like we are right now. I want the truth about that whole situation. Or well, there's gonna be goddamn problems, and I'm gonna take it out on you. I'll take it out on him. He's 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 just doing me a favor, alright? We can talk about it later. Um So what we were talking about is for, first of all, it seems from what I got from Mills, he has not made up his mind yet. He wanted to speak to you all to see what was going on. The first thing I asked was whether he was leaving back west for Jack. And made up his fucking yet. mind. Made up his fucking mind. Well, then he needs to... What is this? A fucking schoolyard? Well, you know what? You live and die it. by this fucking thing. Make yeah, up your goddamn yeah, mind. Again, again. The West works a lot different 
than here, and you gotta treat everything like kids in a playground, okay? If I'm being honest, that's how I treat a lot of the discussions and a lot of the- Davey, discussions. thank you for the raid, dude. It, it how you doing, man? Very well. so, Hope you had a good day. They are going to hate anything that we say, like concessions, money, you know, about needing consequences for this. Instead, what we should approach it is if he does decide to leave and go back to Jack, because he would be breaking a commitment, you know, maybe instead we can approach it as he owes us a favor. He can still help out Van Horn from afar. That way, you know, he still, it still is, he still is in the wrong, but there's a way to do it that we aren't just going to go to war with each other and they're not going to puff out back their chest everyone's not going to get angry if we approach it like you came here to help while exactly the same though Ugh. and you're wanting to go back out west still help wallaby by helping out in the west and if we need to call upon you for something you'll be there what do you think about that I don't want his help. He's not enough for me. He's not enough for me. He's made this whole place scary. Alright? He done his commitment. Alright? He fulfilled his contract. And now he's gone back to daddy. I don't want his help. Regardless of what you want, how can we... Use the situation to benefit Van Horn in general. We don't. Why not? If there's any way that we can get them to help us in the future, if we can make them feel like they owe us, why would we not? I have do plans that? for Jack and all them. We are working together already. What? So you just want to let this go and say fuck them? I want him to tell me to my face that he made Van Horn what it is. I want him to tell me if I think I can run Van Horn better than go. Good luck with it. I want him to tell me that. I want him to look in my eye and say it. I want him to tell me that he ran Van Horn. And logistically speaking, Peaches, you know, we only need one figurehead to keep connection. So Jack is acceptable. As long as Jack's on board and well he's got his agenda and as long as we feed it you know no harm no foul we can drop it and why not and that's coming from me just drop it. yeah wallaby doesn't usually get emotional but Mills is, is a touchy drop, subject I just think that it's a wasted opportunity I trusted him I didn't get into this with him for business I didn't get into this to get an advantage. I did it because... Well, I thought things were different. I thought we were more. And I think you should tell him that. I don't need to tell him that. I think you should. I don't need Absolutely to. Absolutely not. We do not show our fucking hand. It's weakness. I trusted him. I brought him here. Not as a favor. I wanted to do something together. All of us. I wanted to build something up. I wanted this place to be more. I wanted him to be more. I looked up to that fella. It was never about jobs. It wasn't about money. It wasn't about any of that. This place is so much more. I will not use his. Failure as a friend. As some kind of financial or otherwise advantage. 
he wants to go out west, fine. Let him go. I ain't gonna use him. I know what it is to be used like that, and I have no desire for it. Sorry, what did you say, Scrum? Oh, I was just saying I'll be back in a little bit. That's it. All right. Are you listening? For what he's saying? I respect that a lot. That's... I don't want to talk about this anymore. I'll talk to Mills when he gets back or whenever he fucking telegrams. Hey. Give him some space. As much as Mills disappointed you, we're still here for you, okay? Yeah. I'm going for a ride. Okay, bye. You want company on that ride? They still took No. I think the house is ahead, to be honest with y'all. Do you wanna As it usually tends to be, my good man, as it usually tends to be. Well, as long as the kind folk here get the money, I don't have to worry like it's the least I could do. I use that black guy. Eddie. Yep. I'm with the man. Take a picture. Goggles? Well, one. You got a pair of goggles? Goggles, why do I need that for? Uh, if you wouldn't mind, I need you to go and buy a pair of goggles. You can wear what you're wearing. Why? I got a little something I'm gonna show everybody, I think. We can do that on the way back, yeah? Yeah, yeah.
know if um if you got anything going on, but there's a large, large law presence over by stables. Yeah. Appreciate it. Interesting. Interesting. We'll look at that in a little bit. Take deeper into that. Wallaby's head somewhere else right now. God damn it. The sea was right. <laughs> they love it when things line up. at you. You guys are gonna say that. Better than nothing. <sighs> no, no, I miss it when it was more simple. It was no. There's no lying in any of them. You just knew where you stood. You know, they were your friend. And things just got out of hand and now. It's hard to tell who's a friend and who's a foe. Lines blur these days. I miss You've all been under of them. a lot of stress. Okay. You've been under a lot of stress. No one is going to fault you. You take some time for yourself. Oh, I, I can't afford to uh, take time for myself. Well, she can. Listen, it is, it is definitely an option. Of course, you have that flexibility. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of things. You just need to de stress, refocus. You 
You got you got people around you, good people. You remember Bob going around with yeah. his poems? Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, oh, Bob, first to go. I miss sitting here with not a care in the world. I didn't have to worry about anything. Wasn't much to worry about back then. Used to sit around, look at the map we drew. And back then, the maps, well, they didn't have ambushes in them. Simpler times. Simpler times because we were simple. We're not so simple no more, man. Okay, we grew up. We got responsibility. That doesn't mean we, we can't lose who we are. Okay? Listen, if you need to have fun, you need to let loose a little bit, you seem stressed. You know how many of you in and out in this mill situation? Well, it's just not helping things. I'm... I'm not sure. You sure? Problem is, every time I fucking care... Bites me in the arse. Every time. Well, maybe not every Whatever time. Whatever said, it had to be easy. Okay. You know, not easy. It's really not. I swore that I'd have your back till the end. How many times have I wavered? No, no, no. Let's just let's put it out there in front of the rest of them. I'm wavered. Undeniable. We both have. But we've always come back together. Lost kids left. Lost who were standing. I told you, on Emerald, things had to change, that we had to work things different. These days, people keep secrets. They keep secrets from their wives. And we've been keeping secrets from each other. You know what? That's how it is. In my mind, you know, we do these things. We leave out details. We lie. We manipulate. I always had in mind that it is forgivable on either side as long as it benefited the agenda. What's the agenda? Simple. And it could be Van Horn. What it meant was, was our interests. Our own interests. So we could live. So we could breathe. So we could buy stews. Buy horses. You had a vision for that. You had a place. You knew where to go. Van Horn. That's what we fought for. That's what we're fighting for. We wavered multiple times, both sides. Everybody's wavered. We come to our senses. We come back. We fight against what is right. Few fight against many. The bigger picture 
has never been more clear than it is now. And it has never been more clear that we need to truly consider our allies. Because we can only tolerate ourselves wavering. The rest will be a detriment to us. That is what I've realized. And I don't believe it for one minute. Because shit can change on a dime. You remember that coin you always used to have? Yeah. It was like that. You should get that coin. Or a new one. Because that put it into perspective for us. Anything could change on a dime. But we always were the ones flipping the coin. I think we forgot about that. I was going to bring up something to the rest of the group pertaining to what I've been working on these past few days. Information I've gathered. gathered. I believe the fight isn't over. I believe we still have fight in us. You are going to make your decision. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 server, no. 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 Seen the shit. Speed crash, maybe? Yep. Hold on, let me see if I can, um, load it back up. <clears throat> nope. Damn it, man. That was really good, though. Oh, so, okay, back. I think we're back. Howdy. Oh, hello? Yeah. Okay, where, where was it? <laughs> um, you got to make that choice. You heard that bit? That's the last thing I heard. Yeah, you got to make that choice. <laughs> Not me. I could. I would. I should, but I won't. <laughs> you gotta make that choice. 
And whatever that choice may be is up to you. If I was to give you any advice, remember in any negotiation, because that's what it's going to be. It was a friendship. That's what you believe. That's the problem. Is that it was a friendship between you and them. But now it's a negotiation. And it's worth remembering that there are always two languages being spoken. Uh, language of the demands being made and what is really being said underneath the demand. I prefer to ignore the former and speak the latter. You have an agenda. Above, though. We have a bigger picture when it comes to the West. That is our focus. Mills put a knife in my fucking heart, but I cannot show weakness in that. Must look at the bigger picture. And that is it. So that's what I'm saying. Take the time. Maybe take that lady of yours. No. She been driving everybody crazy. Take her out there, have a nice meal, have a nice brunch. My auntie could even recommend a place. Think about things. Take some time for yourself because you got a big decision. Because only you can make this decision. It has to be for the agenda. It's got to be diplomatic. It's got to fit. Yeah. But it's also a betrayal. And a fuck you. No decisions with emotion. No emotion. Logic. Come here. Now, with that being said, now it's time to tell you, since you told me your agenda with the West, I should tell you my agenda now with the East, pertaining to the law. And that is something I think I should show and discuss in front of everybody. Oh, let's go get some gawk. Yeah, we're on. Hey, maybe take her here sometime, you know? She'd like that. Here. Yeah. Alone time. Yeah. She would she doesn't understand this place. She de she doesn't, but maybe you could tell her. Before you go. We pay our respects. Oh, Wallaby will tell Eddie. It's just not the time yet. There's a lot of information. We don't want to meta dump everything on the, you know, all at the same time on the same day. Actually, no, bad. Now in most... It's not the worst time. Seen... No. Oh. No.
Yeah, this is happening during a moment of silence. He's fucking up. Still can't load into TeamSpeak. Wait. Maybe okay now. Alright, you're good to go. DDoS? I got no idea. Probably not. I don't know. Is that her? Or a white horse? That's different. You ready to go? What was the song? Just got here. Um, don't know the name of the song. Me? Oh, don't know the name of the song, but uh, it's a song that Miss used to sing to Wallaby. What? Yeah, I hear you. Say something. I hear oh. you. Did you hear my prayer? <laughs> would it make you feel better if I said yes? Yes, it would. Yes, I heard it. <laughs> <Real good one>. <laughs> <laughs> Now these goggles, if you don't have them, you're a little blind. Yeah, I like I the plan already. <laughs> Most of them already have them. That could have got worse. Wallaby didn't drink as much as he was going to drink. Eddie helped him. Got money to get them? Yeah, I do. You said I can wear the same thing, right? Just with goggles? Yeah, yeah, j yeah, just a pair of goggles. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. Don't know what this is about. Interesting. 
We need to read that telegram from Bill and study it, get exactly the information that we need from it. That talk between you two was needed? Yeah. Well, this is the second time they've done that now. We did one off stream as well. You want to check the telegrams first? Carriage. <laughs> Jack, I take this letter. Send location. Okay, um... Jack? Wallaby? Neat. Um, let's go... Uh, not the lair, not the lair. Let's go, um... I'm going to tell you I agree with everything you're saying. I can see this has hurt you. I am sorry. If possible, when you talk to Mills, can I be by your side or at least be around? I just want to really support you. Yeah, well, we're not, I, I, don't, I don't know when or if we're seeing Mills. We'll see what happens. Jack's around, we're gonna meet him in 30 minutes. Okay. We got to do this quick. Yeah. Let's get these goggles real quick. Yeah, Irene is peaches, yes. Bring the rest of the gang to the meeting with Jack, and I can tell him as well. Because this kind of involves him. It's about. Uh, oh my god, team speak, fuck off! Kind of a big. Yeah. You're all right. Oh my god, there's gonna be a queue. We might have a queue situation. <laughs> Fuck me. There's no way it's empty. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I'll take it. Jesus. Hello? Van Horn. Um, coat. I want to change. But it's not winter anymore. To, to this one. 
Yeah, let's go with the black. Uh, goggles would be in eyewear, right? But I can also wear the mask with the goggles. This one. Like that. Goggles. All right. Oh, that's fucking Moxie. Well, look who it is. Yeah. How you doing? Are Wait, you, up to? You where, have you, where have you been, by the way? I gave you a fucking room and you just abandoned it. Adventuring? Exploring? What the, Trying what to the find fuck something in my lap? Possibly be exploring at your age. Are you going to, I don't know, Undertaker's? Getting measurements? Is that what you're doing? Maybe. Get a corset fitted for my funeral. You know, that's supposed to be under your clothing, right? Not at my funeral. Well, he's gonna have him flipping him a flopping aisle. <laughs> sure. All right. Anything to make it more exciting. Go ahead in a Van Horn if you want to join us. Sure, just give me a minute. Oh, God. Rigor mortis will prevent that? Pretty sure that doesn't affect breasts, man. I need another coffee. Shit. I got a fucking ride. Which way are you heading? Just drop on the back of my horse, come on. My horse is right down there. Oh, all right. Well, get on your fucking horse. We're going to Van Horn. All right. I just came from there. Drink will be the death of me. All right, let's go. All right. About 30 minutes before the Jack meeting. I could probably push it to 40. 10 minutes later isn't that bad, right? He doesn't check telegrams that often. So we're lucky that we had that talk with Eddie because Wallaby would have been pretty emotional. He would have been angry about the mill situation, but... We gotta be, we gotta be calculated with it. Jack probably won't be on time anyways. Exactly, man. So that's what I'm talking about. Bill was 45 minutes early. Oh, yeah, he's, uh, he, bro, uh, I love that. That was great. No one's ever that early. That's great. It's, it shows how excited he is to, you know, betray all his colleagues. It's fantastic. So why did you get goggles? I guess we're going to find out in a minute, man. I guess we're going to find out in a minute. behind. Oh, no, she's on her way. I'm gonna make a coffee as soon as we get to Van Horn, dude. Just letting us know. Is that tonics? Yeah, probably. 
using Warby as a test subject. Well, he did say everyone in the gang has goggles. So, I don't think that's what it is. So, what have you been up to? Making Van Horn thrive. How's that going for you? Swimmingly. I can't tell if you're being serious or sarcastic. No, Van Horn is doing well. Thank you for asking. <laughs> We've missed your gloomy presence around here. everyone Harry Peaches went, Peaches went to a meeting with Jack Cattleman somewhere and she told me to tell you if you want to know where check your telegrams can this woman go five fucking minutes with having a fucking I meeting I know I tell you what Panic. we leave now and we can catch up god fucking damn it I was gonna make a coffee fine I know I know all right how are you Time for oh, I'm checking telegrams to see where she is. Be right back, maybe. Probably. Scout. Mine up. Yeah. Who was that? Uh, uh, Dakota! Dakota, we got business apparently whenever you're free stitching him up. Is that fucking Henderson? It's not Henderson, it's a lookalike. It's oh. Hathaway and his people. Oh, all right. Hathaway got shot in the back after we shot a bunch of deputies, so Dakota's just being a nurse at the moment. How long is she gonna be? No, take your time. Take two minutes. I'm making a coffee. Fuck off. Thank you, Dakota. Fuck off, Dakota. Give me a minute. God damn it. Just let me make a goddamn coffee. Uh, Peaches just came by and said she was going to have a meeting with Jack Kettleman and to check telegrams. What? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told Dakota just to get going. Where's my horse? I'm going to lose it. Okay. In a fucking alley. Well, that's exactly what we're doing. Do you have those goggles? I'll wait. Fuck it, I'm committing. Cody, do you have goggles? Of course. Okay. I'm gogged up. We ready? No! Where's Pete? He's asleep. Or went to sleep. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, wanna be doing the guard job. Do you want me to kick you? Oh. No, no, just... Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you. No problem. It's gonna help. Almost done. Yeah. Shit. Drink that. It'll help. Take care. Try not to die. Yeah, yeah, I'll try. Thanks. Thank you. Good luck. Come on, coffee! Go check telegrams. What do you think we're about to do? <laughs> All right. Coffee is done. Let's go. <sighs> Gotta find Irene now. If 
before she says too fucking much. What could they be meeting about? Search for Peaches, part 15. Don't bring up heat, guys, you motherfuckers. Edna Wallace to meet Jack. Don't know why he wants to meet. You need me somewhere. Can't make it in 30 minutes. Stuck in desert. Tons of long black water. Gonna take me in one hour to get there. Really, bro? No, you're gonna meet my fucking girlfriend, you son of a bitch. At Wallace. Yeah, stuck at West, eh, Jack? Gotta hurry up. Yeah? Before she says too fucking much. Where's Skull? He ran off. He's changing, I think, actually. Jack sent me a telegram saying he can't make it to the meeting in 30 minutes because he's stuck out west. There's too much law. But he's meeting fucking Irene at Wallace Station. Or Wallace fucking Fort. Probably Station, right? Uh, she was talking about Wallace Station, yeah. When she uh, oh, spoke to me about it. Take the tracks. Tracks, what? tracks, tracks.
Love you too, Metro. Welcome to the brand new subs. Welcome to the meta bitches. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what we're called. That's a fucking bell. That's all right. Can't find us in the tunnel. <laughs> Shit. I'm blind. You're fine. Just follow my voice. Bitches fits me. You don't get offended by the word bitch. <sighs> that surprised me, Ali. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was a fence there. <laughs> No, oh, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about her saying too fucking much about how I'm feeling and think about the whole situation. You know how she be with her fucking emotions and shit. Follow my voice. Says nothing. Hey, I was talking to you guys, all right? I guess. Rode through there and a fucking train showed up. Maybe. That was great. All I'm saying is, we'll take a shallow grave, we'll put them in there. <laughs> and keep it easy. Oh. Oh. Female Rust player now Not numb to insults. Before her nose gets booped. Fuck, you're right. Speed it up! This is a lot longer than I remember. Isn't Omen slow? Mate, I'm faster than these motherfuckers. What if Peaches dies on the way? Oh, then we find a new girlfriend. The, yeah, it's the same breed of horse that um, that bandit was that had the barrel racing record. 
we would have we would have we would have broke that record and probably been the current day champs if uh if we didn't get completely just shamed out of competing team rabbit oh yeah that'd be a great couple man That's her fucking stupid horse. Irene. I'm watching you change. I hope she's that you in there changing. What the fuck is she? She's changing. She don't Why are you changing me. for? Fucking damn it. What's the meaning of this? Like, get out of there. You getting goggles? Get out of there. Oh, Get I'm so goggles. sorry. <laughs> what's with the, what's with the goggles? That's going to be all explained very shortly. Right. <laughs> if it matters, I got a telegram from Peaches saying that she's meeting Jack at Cattail Pond. What? I, I don't know. That's I could read, could read, read the it. telegram. It says, head into Cattail to meet Jack for some goddamn reason. If you see anyone, let me know. Just saw Scout and Harry at Van Horn. She told me, why is she telling you Cattail, but she's here? When did she send that? Know. Read it. What time? 9.14 p.m. So right. exactly 10 minutes ago. Right, I want everyone to stand with their hands on their hips for when she walks out. Eddie, move up next to me. <laughs> I think she's AFK. movement in there It's going to take forever. I'm getting all dolled up for Jack, are we? Um, bad time. I just need a moment. No, 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 no. no the, yeah, but this get is back in the get back over here. I can't do that because I might be standing there for like a couple of minutes. That's, That's fine. That's fine. Stand here. Somebody rope me up if we move. 
Okay. Scott can do it. The fuck is she, man? Don't give in. Now we're committed now. Someone's going to show up, man. I mean, Jack. It's not even going to be worth it at this point. <laughs> Getting all dolled up for Jack, are we? How, how long have y'all been out there for? That doesn't matter. What are you doing? The fuck was... are you doing? You're beating Jack, I understand. But if you're in there getting Again, all told... dolled up, huh? Putting some makeup on, making sure you look all fresh. Um, if, if you must know, I was scarfing down some food, maybe. Oh, right, in the dressing room. Right, right. Yeah, I didn't think anyone would notice me there. Right, as one does. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I too eat my dinner in the dressing room all the time. It's quite a cozy mm -hmm. dressing room in there. You should try it sometimes. The ambiance just really brings out the flavors. Why are you meeting Jack for? I don't know. He just said, send me location. Period. Now. Period. And I said, I can come wherever. And he said, What the yes. fuck did you just say? You can do what? You can do what? Whenever. Uh, what did I just say? I... Whenever. You no, 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 no. choose your words very carefully right now. Some people, it takes a while and they can't help it. Shut up. Okay. Um, I said I, I could, I could meet him wherever. Right. And why are you meeting him alone? I don't understand. I know, Make me I, understand I this. I would, uh, come on, let's all go together. Honestly, I couldn't find no one except for Scout and Harry. And then, um, I couldn't find anyone else. I, I don't know. Let's all you go. You didn't invite me. Well, yeah, because you were with Harry. I was on the dock well, having an emotional Harry moment. has nothing to do with our business. And what about poor Eddie, Eddie here, first? huh? What about poor Eddie? Well, y'all two went off together without me, so I thought. What we can't have we we can't have a little business. fucking drink together or something, huh? Well, maybe I want to drink with you. I it was a boys' night out. Together. You're a woman. Talk about butts, and there's all these other things that he was saying y'all do together. And what the fuck are you talking about? Yo, yeah, what am I talking about, Eddie? Eddie, right this is here, what we call. is like a little brother to me. You understand? And every now and yeah. again, brothers need a time alone to have a, a drink and a laugh, right? We don't bring the girlfriends along. Well, yeah, that's perfectly fine. However, he did mention there were butts involved last time. 
So what I feel are you a, yes. even talking about? I don't know, Eddie. Why don't you clarify? I think you're trying to move past the subject at hand. Yeah, why are you deflecting? No, 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 no. You had your chance. You're shifting just... blame. You're as bad as Scout. And you okay. haven't explained what the that scrum anymore. thing was about, are they? You never told us about well, that. You know, we, 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 uh, we... I want to know First why you felt the need to go up over a fucking hill to talk to somebody. About work. Well, Do tell. Well, because it was private. We were catching up, you know, and, um... I haven't seen him in ages, and he's been going through stuff. And Look at me. Look at my stuff. eyes. Look at my yeah, eyes. Yeah. yeah do you think, do you yeah, think I'm yeah. dumb? You know, I know you. You bite your lip when you're fucking lying. Now, you were biting your lip over in Van Horn. What the fuck did you do? Was this another heat nothing. situation? Is that what this no, was? Do I have to fucking shoot not. him in the head? No, 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 no. Please don't. Please well, don't. Well, then tell me what the fuck it was then. Just, I, just, just, I, I just asked him for a little favor, is all. And what favor is that? That we cannot provide for you? Well, um, y you know, uh, Why don't you take a moment and set yourself at ease, Peaches, please? No, I no, 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 no. She has question. people. You have people that would die for you. I want to know what favor Scrump could possibly do that we cannot. Very interesting conversation. Deserves <laughs> a response. Well... It's the kind of favor that is best asked for someone who ain't, um, as attached to someone, you know? Like, like, I, um, God, that sounds worse. Uh. Well, yeah, last telegram I got from you. Sorry I snapped at you. I was frustrated. I understand that. And I, I uh, talk down to you. I think uh, little of you. No, no, no. My opinion of you is always at the highest regard. Well, with let's talk respect, about that, Eddie. Um, so with well, all due respect, Peaches, explain yourself. <laughs> or... Is this part of a plan? You know what? Well, maybe, maybe I should go get it from him. Maybe I should go no, 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 get no, it no, from no. him. It's, it's not, part of it's, a plan, and I can accept it. It's not. It's not part of a plan. It's just something personal with me. It's not. It's not anything to do with anyone else other than me. Okay. I just. I just felt like it would be a, a a lot easier to ask of someone who didn't really know or care about me. That's it. What does this even mean? What are these riddles you're weaving? I'm, uh, I'm not good at lying. Well, I, I know you're not very good at lying. That's fucking evident. Yeah. This is. Well, then speak the that. truth. Just fucking tell us. No one here will judge you. I Maybe just... it's not the appropriate time. When would be the appropriate time, Irene? I think it would be better discussed privately. She doesn't trust us. It's not that I don't trust you. That's, that's you the problem. There's too, alone there's too many divisions you. and too many secrets and all such. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wallaby's keeping so many secrets. It, it was a medical thing. I asked him to help with a medical thing. That's it. That's why I was You're trying not. to get him to stay around too and, and 
your... <laughs> Am I gonna be an uncle? You're not, you know. What the fuck? Jesus no. Christ. <laughs> no. What I mean, the I fuck? Fuck is your problem. I don't know. Nothing, well, you know, nothing. you should know I was this. Just thinking about when something. people get laid, there's a possibility. You wouldn't know anything about that since you, you know, in the fucking corner. So shut the fuck up. Can I be Jesus. the Godfather? No. What the I've fuck? I've always wanted to be he a has Godfather. A point, Scout. Please. No, he doesn't have a point. Well, you're See, not gonna make Scout the Godfather. Godfather. How are you gonna let Scout be the Godfather? That's fucking bullshit. Scout, I mean, fuck, look at Absolute fucking bullshit. Look at this <laughs> bullshit, man. <laughs> Fine, we'll drop it. But I'm gonna ask him. <laughs> Does anyone have a cigarette? You know what? Actually, yeah, I do. What about this? What about uh, the, the reason we can't? What about Jack? Yeah, are we all going to Jack together or what? I mean, Just Jack one? was supposed to be here, right? No, we were going to meet at Cattail. Oh, fuck I me. So is he there now? He said in 40 minutes, about 35 minutes ago. Yeah, all right. Okay. So, yeah, all so right. let's all go. Did you get your goggles? <laughs> Let me read this letter again. Get the goggles, that's on my... Andy yeah, Braithwaite reports going, no. Wallaby Kid what? decapitation threat. Sean Dugmore reports DJ kidnapping and threats. So he did go to, he told law. Alice brought two building, deputies to Van Horn. What's so that do with anything? Civilian reported Edwin firing guns and searching for tonics in Strawberry, but there's no name on the civilian. All right. It's a good start. Just now for this special occasion. It's cold in this area. I feel fine. It's summertime, Irene. Why can I see your friend? Did you say? Well, you want me to take off my clothes? You want me to wear less clothes? Okay, fine. I'm just, I'm just, clothes, I'm just okay, I, you know what? You're obsessed with fucking temperatures. That's all I'm saying. Okay, Are you going to get the baby just... christened? Oh my God. I'm not pregnant. Please. Because technically speaking, I would rather i would feel more comfortable if, if the boy was blessed i know y'all ain't religious and stuff she's not pregnant all right she says so and if I she's got some other kind of affliction that i don't know about Let's see Common cold. i'll tell you right now i read if i start itching there's gonna be fucking problems I i'm clean i'm a cook as clean as a whistle how dare you What a disaster. Angel! How you doing? Oh, I miss you! Cat tail. Ooh. No! I wanted to hit you, motherfucker. Yeah, Angel is missed, man. Love me some Angel Knives. Oh. She's got some other kind of affliction. What do you say? He said cattail pond in the back. What the fuck does that even that mean? mean? What the I hell don't does know. that mean? In the is back? Like on the shoreline yeah. or something like this? I don't know. We'll just, just wait outside here. Something? He'll see us if he comes around yeah. this way. Just exactly. wait outside. Exactly. That, that was gonna be my plan. I need a minute. I'm gonna piss on a rock somewhere. Make sure that all my things are in order after. God damn it! I'm not. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God, chat. Uh, make sure there's no burn. Shut up, dude. Uh, 
Oh, by the way, my brother, guys, my brother, an update on his rugby league career. He, um, he was playing in the second division. So there's, there's silver and then there's gold in our local area. And he was in silver because although he was very strong, he didn't have the stamina. <laughs> He'd get gassed out very quickly. But he's been getting fitter and he got called up into gold. So he's in the top grade now. He's had three games with him now. So I'll show you how he's going. Hold on. Look at this fucking beast. All right. Here we go. This is my brother. Yeah, let's do it. By the way, by the way, this is the kickoff. <laughs> Kicking off to my brother's a bad idea. Very proud of my brother, man. Very proud of my brother. He's a fucking tank. Tank. Takes three plus taking that. Oh, unless you grab his legs, you're not taking him down. Like. You're tackling this guy up top, right? And he's he's just walking forward. Because his legs are literally made to, like, squat insane amount of weight. So you need to grab him around the legs and trip him up. Tree trunks? Yeah, he's a, he's a fucking beast, dude. Looks like a Viking to me. Well, he he was competing in uh, strongman. Um, and he two years ago he competed in Australia's strongest man. He came second. But the thing is, he it got to the point where he had to make a decision. Um, because everyone everyone in that sport is juiced up on roids, bro. Like all of them. It's just it's just part of the sport. Um, and he had to make a decision. It's like, well. If I keep competing, I'm at such a disadvantage because I'm not using roids, so I need to make a decision. And he decided not to keep doing it. Um, because he didn't want to do roids. Here we go, short time. Cal, thank you for six months, man. Half a year. Time. Too late. Rebo. Too late. What's going on? Did you call it a goyle? What the fuck is that? It seems. What the fuck is that about? What? This guy with the deer on the back of his horse. Um, I just want it to be known that Eddie is thinking of murdering me to take our child. So if that's I not ever... what I said. We don't have a fucking child. I know. I, I know. said in the case of of unforeseen circumstances, as the godfather, I would take care of it. No questions you... asked. <laughs> Take it under my wing. I get him into a good me. college. I got connections. Eddie, we, we don't have a fucking child. Best connections. I'm just saying, circumstance. You either got a child or you got the itch. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with me down there. It is nothing to do. Then what the fuck kind of medical conditions are you talking to Scrump about that you're not telling me? It's... Yeah. That's very interesting now, isn't it? Does Scrump would... have the itch? How no. is it a scrub knows more about your well-being than I do? Because it was, I, I thought it was very, it would be mean to, and, and it, it's not something I'd want to talk about with everyone. It's, it's, it's very. But you tell scrub, some random fucking fella, you know, for Who 10 the minutes. Who fuck is scrub? Some guy she spoke to like fucking seven months ago. 
You and said that you're not close with him at all, though. Yeah, that's why and I'm he's so just comfortable some talking guy. to him. It's, 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 it's that doesn't what, is he a sense. doctor or something? Is he, is, he a, is he a doctor? I shouldn't have said goddamn anything. How, why, why can't I lie? Why is this so... Look, it's... it's, it's uh... Why do you have to lie? That's what I want to know. You're admitting to lying. What the hell are you lying about? Is he a doctor is what I asked. No. What the fuck are you telling him? I don't understand. I'm not... I was just asking for a favor, okay? And it, 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 it is a, not a nice favor, so I thought it would be better to ask of him than anyone else. Is anyone making any sense of this situation? Uh, what I understand is that Scrump not being a doctor or her friend or really any relation whatsoever, she asked doctorly advice of. I did not ask advice. No. He asked, he asked, she asked a favor. Asked a favor in doctor's regards. Something to do with an affliction. Irene, is this to do with the whole face situation? I've told you in the perfect light, you look lovely. Fuck you. Oh my god. There's, listen. It's just, you know, every now and again. It's just lighting, that's all. It's nothing to do with your face. I hear horses. Who the fuck? And there he is. He's in. <sighs> we'll talk about this later. Okay. Was that Billy Blasters? There's... You are fucking kidding what? me. Surely not. Billy Blasters? Billy Blunders. Good Howdy God. Burn. How you doing? Howdy burn. Alice what with Jack. Is... What a shock. Uh, well, this makes things a lot better. Less waiting oh, yeah. for everybody involved. Yeah, yeah, this is more efficient. Do you have Scout. Billy Blasters following you? Howdy. Well, yep. he's accompanying us. Thank you. So if you appreciate your freedom, I would make the sign of the cross now because... <laughs> Looks why? like we're all going down today. I don't understand why. Billy Blunders. Yeah, I, I know that part. I'm just asking why. Just... This is Jack Ketterman we're talking about. We don't need wives. <sighs> well, that was a good slurp. Does it ever Thank get you. caught on your mustache? Well, once in a while. Well... Should we go inside? Why inside? It probably will be for the best. So we can murder you all without, you know, any witnesses, obviously. Amazing. Go lead the way. <laughs> yeah, all right. This is where we killed. Howdy, Eddie. <laughs> this is where we killed Emmett. <laughs> Howdy, Jack. Good to see you again. <laughs> Don't you, don't, don't you, don't, don't, don't you leave me, me out cock? to, don't you, don't you leave me out to dry. Don't call me a cock, I know what you're talking about, Jay, don't worry about it. All right, let's see where this goes. I think you've already done enough of that, haven't you? Fuck you. Howdy. How's it going? I still feel like shit, but yeah, listen. What do y'all want? Do you, do you want? Do you want? want this, this, this energy I potion? Hi. Yeah, I'll take it. I found that a little too quick. Energy potion. <laughs> what type of energy potion? <laughs> Here we go. One that takes way too much room. <laughs> I feel it. Thank you. I didn't expect to have such a big audience. Yeah, not that it I. You had a Sissica finally. Yeah, that's right. Back to business. How are things out here? Good to see you're well, still alive. That's right. Should be told. A few things that are left unfinished. On account of we had a deal. We never got to see it through. 
Yeah, well, I shot one of them deputies point blank and she brushed it off like it was nothing. Well, I think it was because of a different reason. Well, the thing is, I looked at her and I swear to God, Jack, I swear to God, I saw it with my own eyes. I saw the bullets penetrate her. And just as quickly as they went in, I saw that wound starting to heal before my very eyes. Now, I could have been that I was dazed from being hit myself, but that's what I saw. Wounds being closed. I even think she smiled at me and gave me a wink. <laughs> Who was this? I think it was well, Zoe. It was it was a combination of that and one other thing. I think you thought yourself that you were hopped up on a serum. <laughs> I got the fan. And I saw one lunatic run into the front ranks <laughs> out in the open. Well, that's the thing. Just I think running back like a like a complete no, no, lunatic no, 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 no. in the open. The thing is, this. And I thought, what is that ours? Is that theirs? So who is this maniac? And then I saw him fall, and that was it. <clears throat> Well, you gotta understand something that I had a vial on me that Bill gave us and I chugged it down and it made me feel enraged. I didn't think straight. I got angry and I just saw red like it was controlling me. I couldn't help but run out. That's what this is, you know. The berserkers have returned. You've heard of that, right? Those tales, those Viking tales. Chewing on the shields and all. Chewing on their shields, hopped up on mushrooms. They would be worked into a frenzy. They would be naked and run out and bite the face off their enemy. And that's what we're dealing with. It enrages to the <laughs> untrained. Get people to put on their goggles. What did you just what say to me? Fuck? I'll bring it in. Yes, if you've got goggles, you might want to put them on. Anybody who isn't wearing goggles. We need goggles. Step back. <laughs> What's he talking I about? Don't got I don't got goggles. You either. might want to get behind the goggles. saloon. Oh, wait, I do have goggles. Let's go, yeah. I'm cogged. I'm cogged up. All right, I'm going behind the bar. You see, we've been experimenting. I have no I idea. I'm making it up. And by all means, cover your mouth. For what happens next is... Frightening. Thank <laughs> you. I'm just going with it. I have no idea what he's planning. I'm gonna wait for him to come down. The cloud energy, I, I felt that too. I felt that too for a second. The eighth wonder of the world. The pig man. Oh, he's fucking, he must be getting something off his horse. You don't truck us. Now that I'm done seeing you have no clue what will happen. I got no idea what he's doing. He tells the fucking plan. Did Wallaby's scar change on his face? Nope. No, it's still the same. Come on, Eddie. I need a little briefing of what he's fucking doing here.
I did change his hair though. This is a different hair. I've never used his hair on Wallaby before. It's a longer hair, um, but I didn't want to do like the hair I usually use at this length is more of the boyish one, and I didn't I wanted more of an older look. Meanwhile, Peach is telling Jack everything. Dude, shut up. Where is he going? Did he leave? Did he just fucking bounce? Holy fucking shit. Eddie. Yeah? What can you tell me what you need me to do here? So I told <sighs> them this is very dangerous. I was making shit up down there. It really fucking is. All right. I'm going to need you to bring people outside. Give me like 30 seconds wait, 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 and wait, bring wait, them outside. Why can't we do it out in down there? Why can't we do it out down there? Because I've realized if this shit goes off, this whole place is going up. All right, all right. Oh my God. I can hear it outside. Dude, it's 1902. <laughs> it's got a fucking Geiger counter. Jesus Christ. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have Do questions. Is Edwin going to be naked? No. Nope. Please, please say no. No, he's not going to be oh, naked. Gonna... <laughs> I will say, though, that we have to oddly move towards the exit as bringing the subject in here could cause devastation. And if we get trapped in here, we're as good as dead. So please, follow me. Yes, Wait Jack. The end of the world. Do we have any safety measures in case he starts going berserk? Jack, I've heard about you. You'll be fine. Come on. <laughs> if he gets anywhere near me. <laughs> Your hair looks so good. Yeah, thanks. All right, stop here. Stop here. Stop. Stopping. I need to make stop. sure everyone's here. Stop here. Yeah, we're stopping. And then just have a look at you all. If you don't have a fucking mask to put on. Um, no. Oh. Jesus. There you go. There Peaches, you go. Peaches, I like it. Jack, I need you to put that band down over your face. Don't worry. There you are. All right. Now, if you haven't got a mask and your face falls off, this ain't my fault. Let's go. <laughs> this is so dumb. This is so fucking stupid. Over here. Gather around in a circle. Don't come too close. You heard pretty the man, much... not too close. Okay. I'm pretty, I enough? think you're all aware. Jesus Christ, step back. Okay. That shit's fucking... <gasps> <laughs> that shit's volatile. Why is it growling? Is it broken? I think we've all realized in these past couple of months, things are changing. I did a bit of research myself, and I did a bit of digging. I racked up a lot of charges. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Quit swinging it around. <laughs> I've racked up a lot of charges trying to get this shit. Uh, this shit is the shit. And I figured out who's making it. And uh, who the hell's that? Who Billy, the hell's that? Dude, Billy, Billy, Billy Blunders. Get it away from me. What's wrong with you? Oh, oh, damn it. I, I, move. I don't like the way it sounds. I already look weird enough. But enough away, Alice. Don't, don't get hysterical like now. Sounds. What's wrong oh. with the way it sounds? People. Times are changing. We talked about the big picture, but we never really had evidence. We got it. <sighs> Nobody move a muscle. Inside there is the type of volume super serum that these fuckers have been tasting. Now this shit, you light it in fire, it burns purple. 
This is the shit they've been working on. They have scientists. Yeah, scientists in their own fields working on this shit for the law themselves. This is a government conspiracy, people. Jesus Christ. I told you, I remember when I was telling you the scientists, they have them. The Rangers twenty-five know everything Kirkland. about it. Until I started asking questions, then they couldn't divulge that information. The Rangers. Weeks ago, I asked the law about it. Sure, they could talk about it. A couple of weeks ago, they can't speak on it. It's becoming a conspiracy, people. They're hiding. They got scientists. And at your own risk, you can check that box. But they've just changed the game. Take it easy. I'm careful. being careful. Jesus. Careful. No sudden movements. Is it true that one of the ingredients is vampire sweat? <laughs> <laughs> Not too sure about the ingredients. I just know who's cooking it. These motherfuckers. We heard rumor they got dolphin dandruff involved in the like? recipe. Dolphin dandruff? Wait, what is it? What is it? These right. motherfuckers are using this to try to wipe us all out. I patted it a little bit. Yeah. Just try and don't move them too much or they'll explode. What is People. The this is some kind of surgery. concoction i gotta see this for myself do not touch it your hands will fall off <laughs> people know who's making it people are keeping it a secret don't it's kick it over a government conspiracy don't shake it too but much one name what are you doing jack true. you're Jesus, gonna jack. blow us all up jack, what's wrong with you <laughs> Get us all killed. One name, people. You know what we should do? We should bring Billy Blasters down here and test it on him. See what happens. Okay. Okay. You really want to, you really want to do that? Before we do that, <laughs> we got to destroy this. Whatever it does to Billy, hope it doesn't kill him. One name rings true here, people. One name. Well, Boiled it down to two people Dr. Parker and Cat Carver. Those two names have been named by multiple people. Suspicions. No concrete evidence until this week. I got confirmation from an inside informant that Cat Carver has cracked whatever case she's cracked. And she's making this go-go juice that's gonna fucking obliterate any chance we got at retaliation unless we like keep up i've seen before i don't know about you people but i've been investigating this for a while and i am frightened nay terrified i have a vial on me they came straight from a deputy's pocket. What the fuck, Jack? You brought that here? Not in a box? No, wait. It's a modified you didn't get version. You didn't on your skin, did you? <laughs> God damn it! It's he could be fucking infected. Here. Nobody oh touch God. it with your skin. Are you infected, Jack? You motherfucker! It's not whoa, open. Whoa, 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 whoa! Relax, relax. It relax. can probably see hey, through glass. Hey, you better put that oh, gun hey. down. Hey, Did hey. any of it get on your skin? Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you touch of your bare hands? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone, relax, relax. Scout, this is precaution. Who touched it? I'm pointing at Billy. Stop no pointing at me. Touched it. We pointed at me. He doesn't understand. Get that fucking gun out of Everyone needs to calm the fuck down. Ow! How the fuck are we gonna calm down? We don't know what you've done with that. You could be infected. I'm telling you, it's on me. Where'd you get it from? The police. <sighs> but it's different. And it bears the name Cat right on the label. Cat. Cat. C A T. It's her. When I saw this, I thought it made it makes you agile like a cat. You better stop pointing that fucking gun <laughs> at me. 
Let's solve now put a gun on me, Jack! I'll put my gun down when you put your gun down, you motherfucker. All right, all right. Everybody put their guns down on three. Everybody down on three. Yeah, on three, yeah. Two. Two. Three. Yeah. Edwin? Up, up, up until now, I thought Catman had made you agile like a feline. Turns out, it was the name of the person that invented it. It's not quite like what we have in that box. But it's coming from the same source. Same source. Okay. I say we capture this cat yeah. and burn her at the stake. Yeah, oh, yeah. She's doing Look some kind of it, fucking uh, black magic. Look at his hand. I think. But here's what I'm thinking. To like the they want some no, no. We, we, we're rolling up they Jack in the West. We need to plate the bounty. It's all part of the plan. I've had updates on her. Currently, right now, she's currently sick. But also, she's currently out of town. Sick, my but ass, also, she's in an underground she's bunker right now, working on making more and more. That's fucking right. He's right. That's exactly sick, sick what my she's ass doing. All of a sudden, she ain't sick. First, she was sick, then she was visiting family, then she was in Guarma. No, she is being hidden by the government on behalf of the sheriff's department, making this shit on behalf of. So now, I bring this up as we talk about the bigger picture here. We need to come to a consensus that we need to get this woman. Yeah, we do. We're going to put our brains and efforts together. The East and the West. Tell me how. How is a group of bandits going to take the number one asset? Not only at a crossing, but the entire country at this point. If if you don't think that telegrams have gone to Washington by now telling them that they have a super serum, you're crazy. I put all my money that she's in an underground bunker underneath the White House in Washington, D.C. right yeah, now. Well, if that means we have to storm the White House. Making vile after vile after vile. If we have to we storm need to go to Washington. the White House, we must do it for if we do not stop this. We... Are as good as dead already. This concoction will be our demise unless we work together and stop it. You heard him. Petty squabbles gotta come to an end. They've retaliated. They haven't for years. We thought, yeah, we could still do our thing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we think. It was inevitable. <laughs> and look at us now. We're outgunned, outmatched against something we have no idea what we're up against. Can it be? We need all hands on deck. Every in between from east to west needs to be working day and night trying to figure out this recipe. Folk in the west are already mobilized. There's a big reward for anyone to find the recipe. Right now, they are scouring the earth for every ingredient, for every possible mixture. Day and night, people are working tirelessly. As far as cat goes, like I said, she's in an underground bunker right now in Washington, D.C. Unless we got some really strong bait to put out to draw her out. I can use my connections to find exactly where she is. Find out her weaknesses, her strengths. We I can only, do that. We not only got to get rid of her. We need to gain her knowledge. No. We can't just kill her and not know our knowledge. And the next person will just come along and replace her. She used to telegram me. That could possibly set up a meeting. She also, we, we used to be close. I was very, very good friends with her brother. In fact, I, I still have contact with her brother. Here's my question. While we look for this cat, 
what do we do about the law? They're going to be chugging this down and killing you all one by one by the dozen. Something has to be done about that. Their supply chain needs to die and wither away. I got a question here. It's something that I've been thinking about. Because that day when you ran out like a lunatic, you drank a bit of that vial, didn't you? I did. See, we were sitting there theorizing that there's, I think, an additional step here to make this stuff actually work and active. Yeah. Something that we're missing. Maybe something we're supposed to take ahead of time. Maybe something that we're not supposed to have in our system while taking it. Mix we heard it with rumor out west else. that the electricity tower up in Honestburg has something to do with it. I think they're juicing just a, up before they, uh, and then they get themselves strapped to that board up there. Something like that. It's a rumor we heard. I'm not sure. They're becoming some kind of super soldiers. We, we need to work out the missing base. We brought about 12 deputies down to Thieves Landing. We were having a war talk. I brought up this serum and they all scoffed and laughed, said it wasn't true. And then I kid you not, about eight of them opened their jackets and every single one of them was stocked with at least two. <coughs> Which adds energy potion and small blue vial that you showed us in there. Here's the thing. We have the capability to shut them down. You fellas out west. Locking it down, making sure there's no trade from the west to the east. We can control the docks, the ports. Nothing goes in or out without our knowing. Together we can starve them out. They're not going to be happy. They're going to fight. They're going to bleed off. But we have no choice. Do we know any of the ingredients here and where the ingredients are grown? Because we have a really strong suspicion that they're coming out to the desert, sniffing the ground and plucking out these herbs. At least part of the ingredients. I met her. I met her. Gave her these tonics. And she told me that she knew what was in them. At my time, I didn't even know what I had stumbled upon. And she looked at me like I was a fool. She has all the knowledge, all the power, and she decided to align herself with the law enforcement. You said that when you took this stuff, you couldn't think straight. It was just kill, kill, kill. Is that right? Yeah, I saw red. I was enraged. I couldn't think straight. I just needed blood. I needed not only to kill, I needed to taste it. That explains everything. <laughs> that explains why these deputies have gone fucking crazy killing everybody. <laughs> kill, 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 kill. That's all they think about. Like the berserkers of old. What do you plan on doing with those vials? Those. Those ones right there. I was planning on strapping dynamite to them and destroying them for good. These shouldn't fall into the wrong hands. Say, for example, and I'm going to say it. Say they fall into some fucking scumbags. Like the Dicenzos who were trying to replicate this disaster and profit off it. <laughs> oh, calm down, calm down, Eddie. Calm down, Edward. This is going to change the course of history here. 
You want to be able to rob banks? You want to be able to walk down the street? We're not going to be able to do neither. We're going to be crushed under the heel. <clears throat> hmm. What if everybody's hopped up on this stuff and in the gates? The people that haven't? No. What no. I mean is, what if we poison the water supply of every town with this stuff? And just have a whole populace of maniacs out for blood. start tearing each other can't. apart. Probably is the gunfire. We can't. We can't. If we have three vials, we can start by juicing <laughs> Valentine first. <laughs> Not the Valentinians. That's 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 no, I mean, no, it's not, it's not crazy. Val we could take them Val back to the Stone Age. Let them tear each other apart. You know, maybe that's how we destroy Valentine for good. Get you the Valentinians people are talking about where the extension is. If we, the they ain't gonna seclude themselves to Valentine. What if they went out, you know, Westway or Van Hornway? Then we'll, then we'll poison the waters of Don Julio as well. When the government realizes that they have an entire populace doped up on this stuff, they're gonna call for a nationwide ban. It's our only hope. Holy shit. Holy shit. I just thought of something. A couple weeks ago, Jack, a train pulled up at Van Horn. <gasps> the law started heading out vials of water, saying yes. that the water in Van Horn was dirty. Perhaps they were testing. Perhaps something was, was in that close. water. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> god damn it, we could already be infected, we never fucking know about it. Oh my god. What if that's why we're all like this? We didn't drink yeah. that shit, there's no wait, way. Wait, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe that's why it didn't work for me, Jack. Maybe they gave me some kind of poison, right makes me immune no. to the effects. They wouldn't give, they've been feeding you guys in Van Horn little by little by little by little, boosting your immunity to this. So now when you drink it, you don't feel any effect. We just get on, we just get enraged and we can't get benefits from it. It's exactly oh, what's no. happened. Ay, ay, ay. God fucking damn it. We have to go on a cleanse. How are we going to cleanse ourselves? She's right. We, we have to go on drinking a the water. No, we, we have to go on a juice and cleanse. We can we gotta only drink, drink banana juice. <sighs> Has anyone got any bananas? I would advise no one take any water. <laughs> what do you mean, no water? They might have poisoned everything. We're going to harvest our own water. We need to go on a cleanse and a retreat into the woods. Do some yoga. What? Cleanse our minds. What is the yoga? We might have to just go to the tip of the frontier to get our water. That's a really long journey for water. Are you people you crazy? better ideas. No. You have any idea what we should be doing? David, What's that? Started it. We've let the fuse. Infected or not, we're probably breathing the stuff in now. They've Do used you think it. The aerosol did? They they've been using the law. What we do now is fight fire with fire. Not by intoxic intoxicating ourselves with these, with this venom. We need to escalate. And like I was saying before, Jack, about waiting. All said and done, we need to think about the big picture here and how we can retaliate. In a way that gets the message across properly. That if they want it, they can come get it. Isn't that how we got into this issue to begin with? Everybody ramped up the violence, so Law made a whole fucking super serum. What are you fucking crazy? Way. You think this only happened overnight? This has been in the, this has been in the works for years. You this know is a long. plot. Let me tell you, you son of a bitch. Let me grab you. <laughs> Don't touch grab me. It. Grab <laughs> it. You have any idea how long it takes to get a fucking scientist here? Do you have any idea? I just hope it's not too late. I'm just thinking oil tankers. Well, we need something. We need flammables. We're going to have to burn it. We're going to have to burn them. They're not going to go down with bullets. You're going to have to blow them up oil tankers. We're going to have to dismember them. They were impervious what? to fucking fire. What I heard that, that, that the super serum protected them. What happens when we get rid of this stuff? We're, we're not getting... Shipping more from the yes. Mm-hmm. What do we well, he, do? 
How do we stop it? We gotta go. Can we make an earth. antidote? Can we make something that they take that just completely stops them from feeling the way they feel? Right, we, we, like we, 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 we can't get oh, ahead really? of ourselves. Where did you get your PhD? All right, all right. <laughs> PhD. <laughs> one. Listen. First things first. We find this cat. She has two options. She works for us with her scientific ways or she fucking dies. From there, we work out what's next. Jack, I'll look out east. You and your people look out west. We don't find her, we'll find someone that can get her. Okay. See, the problem is I know when she was around, when she used to send me them telegrams, I'd get them around 10 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. She's an early bird. Well, looks like some of us have to wake up a little early not to fucking die! You see, this is the, the problem is this is just the beginning. Months and months and months ago, a person would drink a little bit of this vial and it'd keep him from going hungry and thirsty. <clears throat> then someone would drink this and it'd keep him active. He could run from one town to another on one breath. Then it changed to something else. They don't feel pain, but they still really slow. Now the pain disappeared. They're going berserk and not feeling any, a, a, any injury to, to any attack in the current moment. What's gonna happen in a few months from now? Yeah, they're still Are they developing. Are going third and fourth appendages? Are they gonna be close. open wings and start flying in the fucking sky? I'm just saying. This cat carver made it. We can make it too. Between all the mines in Van Horn and all the mines in in the West, all of these folk have to be sat down in a room and be forced day and night to work till they figure out the recipe. Rewards have to be offered. There needs to be a united effort, like you said. We need to figure out where they get in these recipes and put a halt on it. A statewide embargo. If they're using gillyweed, then nobody can pick a gillyweed without our gillyweed? knowing. Gillyweed? If they need to pick a sage for it, then no one can take Harry sage Potter? without our knowing. We'll set up 24-hour surveillance teams on every piece of this ingredient going all over the crossing. I'm just saying. In the meantime, till we can figure out what the fuck is what. I'm going to work on getting some scientists together. On the other hand, you guys still need to talk about that job. That job is no longer just a job. That job's got to be a message. And it's got to be even twice as violent than what it would have been. We have to change our method of thinking here. We got to change it all. Oh. They are move. We are moving boulders. They're moving mountains. It seems as though, according to our research, that the entire Ranger team has been shifted and their sole purpose right now is to undercover collect this stuff. On numerous occasions now, we've seen quote-unquote Rangers all by themselves out in dangerous territory in the West. And when we ask them what they're doing, they say, oh, we're just picking uh, ingredients. That Carver herself is an ex-game warden. She has connections, deep ties. To the rangers and i've been keeping a real close eye on each one of them especially rockwell they know just as much as she knows maybe not so much the recipes but they're keeping it from us okay i got an i got a recommendation here we all know how the law is meaning that they like to no that's belunders we know that the rangers are helping take this stuff well why don't we jack a few rangers figure out what they know we won't kill them hell maybe we won't even hurt them but we'll scare them a bit oh, oh, it's it's Mills. Mills. Right it's it's Mills. Mills. yeah Mills. That, that, that's that's something that we can do right away and it's something that the law will know wait a minute if we're going to be playing this nasty game drinking this stuff and killing folk we're going to be putting other people in jeopardy if they want to, if they want to produce and take this stuff, then let, let them be the sole makers and, and not third source and outsource it to folk that they think we won't touch. I'm just saying. Okay. 
You think you could work on the Rangers? Oh, hey, Jesus. Again? Take it easy. I think it's a start, if only to let the law know that they've started a real dangerous game. Yeah. And, and we know where they we know where they're sourcing it from. I mean, we don't have to kill nobody, but let them know that if we see them picking this stuff, there's gonna be consequences. Yeah, make because sure they're taking it to the stuff. west. They, they're drinking it and they're attacking us. <clears throat> well, you might be right. They're taking ingredients from your own fucking land. That needs to stop. Tell me what part of it is sourced from the east or is it entirely sourced from the west? I haven't seen any rages out east. You know, that's actually a good point. I never see rangers east. What about money? They got to fund it. You know, the state, they got unlimited funds. Howdy, Mills. All right, all right. We should be all in the clear. The mask now. All right. Thank God. Let's get stuffy. All right then. So we look for cat. We lock down the west. Make sure the rangers aren't getting these ingredients. And we start making plans for a message, right, Jack? That plan's been in the works since yesterday. Since ye since yesterday. Since before you got locked up. Oh. We shook on it. I plan to see it through. Of it course. can be delayed a little bit longer until this stuff is cleared up. Yeah. I don't think it can be. We're talking about a month-long post-test here. You want to... We can't just cut this thing off at the head here. We got to go for the knees. Jobs, they got to continue while we fight the good fight. Yeah, he's definitely mad about the forest fish situation, for sure. Okay. We'll wait for this calf. In the meantime, if a ranger or two falls in your hands, maybe question them. We'll do the same. Send the word to your people in Van Orn to start working on the recipe. It's already happening in the West. Yeah, we'll work on it. Okay. I think we gotta go. Take care. You all take care. Yeah, you guys as well. Safe. You all take care. Best Bye luck with this shit. Bye, Vern. Bye, Dakota. Nice day. You too. Eddie, could I have a minute? Sure. Well, that fucker rod him up. Yes, it did. I love it. Now you, now you aware of what I've been working on? I Beautiful. have something to tell you personally. Yeah. I've been injecting this stuff self. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now listen, now listen, now listen. I know what you're saying. Okay, I know, I know. They're like rabbit dogs. It's fucking beautiful. It's exactly what we want. I, I, I had to. Okay, I needed to figure out what the fuck we were getting. I needed wait, to wait, figure you out what's going on. Where you been taking that shit? 
Just a little bit. Just every now and then I'd been taking a little bit. Get over here, get over here, get over here. I had to, okay? I needed to know what the fuck we were getting into because the, the earth is turning. Stand right here. Look at me. Oh, please, don't do this. Look at me. You fucking idiots. We are supposed Christ to be something. using this serum to get them to be at each other's fucking throats. To be suspicious, angry, uh, paranoid, and you're fucking taking that shit. This fucking tonic is a serious issue here. I, Pat Carver is working for the fucking government. I she get is it. F funneling them to the goddamn sheriff's department. If you want to wait long enough for this goddamn tonic to crush them, then it's going to crush us when it's finished with them. This is my agenda. You work on yours, I work on mine. And together we survive. <laughs> Fuck! I once said it had to be easy. I think we should mention it tomorrow. We're going back to Van Horn. Get it off. Guys, worry about Alice. Guys, he's worried about. Oh, right. Yeah, let 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 KG in the West handle that. We rode around looking for forest fish for fucking hours with them. Let them fucking deal with it. Jesus. Want to the job? Oh, we're not doing it today. I'm not doing it today, man. Going for a Mills talk? Yeah, well, it doesn't look like it's happening today. Get me next time. <sighs> that was such a good scene. Couldn't think of a better place to fucking do it than blowing up our entire building. Here to and fucking the town was sleeping. It's called a controlled explosive. Take it to what what's it called? It to blowing things up. Take it to the clubhouse. Play a dynamite out that way. What about there's a crater near the Wapiti's to load up there? Take it to Shady Bell. I was loving it, but question if it wasn't over the top at one point. He's questioning that. He's talking about people flying yeah, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah. Thank you. Charlie wasn't involving anybody else at all ever. You know, a fucking break. I think he made himself. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Nah, it's funny, man. It's good. It's quality. Some funny RP. Doesn't always have to be super serious and talking about fucking killing people constantly.
you did talk about killing cat. You know what I mean. So, Irene. He hasn't made his decision yet, huh? Think real hard. What the fuck did you just say? Maybe. Oh no no! What the fuck did you just say? We should do it off of the bridge, maybe. <laughs> At least. Say that like one more time. Say, I would like to say that until these people pass. Y'all see fifty by chance? Uh, I can't say uh, no. I have. What was said? She said, she said, to be fair, did we even offer to help him with the Murray situation or whatever the fuck? It's like, what? I love, how, I love how there's always one saying it's dark. Yeah, I know it's dark. <laughs> I think she was around. That's not the point though. She's putting blame on DEG as to why he's riding with them. Give me a break, man. When going got tough, he jumped ship. Couldn't do anything about it. I don't know, man. I don't know what he's thinking. We haven't we haven't spoken to him yet. Let him hunt for Murray, man. Fucking let him. Oh, you leave DEG for KG. There's no way. Zero chance of that happening, man. Zero chance. Peach just stuck around with how shitty Wallaby has been. She ain't leaving. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. Unlike Mills, man, she's just committed to the end. She made she made a commitment with DEG and she stuck with it. Through thick and thin, man. Remember? Ride and die. All that nonsense. It's like a, it's like a gang's like a marriage, man. For richer or poorer, for better or worse, all that shit. Alice even aimed at you. 
<laughs> I know. I mean, that's not a shock, though. She shot at Wallaby before. You should ride the head before, to be fair. Well, that was before he knew her. She shot at him after her and Mills, her Mills and Wallaby became close. But yes, Wallaby has shot her. To be fair, I was aiming the, I'm not reading too much into the knife thing, but it's not a surprise. She could have aimed the knife at someone else in DEG, but she aimed right at us, man. That was an amazing scene. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Craziness, man. I probably got a telegram from Mills. Oh, the word. And it was hilarious. Yeah, it was great. be advantageous for us to make our own plan. Oh, we will, no doubt. We will. Nice hat. The fuck did I put me a horse? There he is. What does it say? I need to spill some blood first. He needs blood before talking. It's not so much that he's doing that before talking to us. It's that he went to them for help. Like, he didn't even say nothing to us. He just rode off with Alice and linked up with Jack, etc. And, I don't know. Let him deal with it. As far as I'm concerned, that's him making the choice, right? Right? Am I crazy? That's him making the choice. Looks like we have two more slots in the gang. Matt's already in. His girlfriend, we don't know yet. Haven't got to know her enough. It's a big decision, man. Just so you know. Before I went to Sissica. For as long as I did. All of us. Scout, Dakota. Eddie. Pete. All of us. Hunted for days. For forest fish. For Alice and Mills. The best I can in tip top shape. Good. How you doing, old lady? The best I can in tip top shape. <laughs> you want a drink? Sure. Quiet. 
quiet, huh? I went and got some milkweed. What's that do? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll have a drink on me. Well, I appreciate it. So, you're going to be staying in Van Horn or is this another social visit I don't get to see for months and months and months? I mean, technically my stuff's here, so yes, oh, I'm yeah. staying here. So you're going to be around more often? I'm going to try. Doesn't answer my question. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Yeah, you said this last time. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. I said something else. Oh. Nope. Same thing. I definitely did not say curiosity. Same uh, sort of thing then. Mm -hmm. You took a room and everything. Is it going to be around? I mean, between you and me, that was my room back in the day too. Yeah, guess what? It's not your room anymore. Well, guess what? I still sneak in there and sleep. Is that why it smells like urine? Urine? Do you pee your bed now? Has it got no, that I bad? Pee my... Okay, I'm not that. I'm 34. Fuck off. I am 34 you years old. You said you were 34 back when I got to the crossing. You're still 34. Fuck you. I was 33. When fuck you off. Back to the Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. I am a. Yeah, you're nice a vibrant lady. young woman. Yeah, I've heard it before. Well, that's not what I was going to say. I was going to say a fine wine. Yeah, fine wine. Sure, sure. Howdy. <sighs> what a fucking day. I'm oh, wiped. Yeah, what happened? <gasps> okay. Oh, well, I... Hello there. I... My apologies. Oh, shit. Look out. Oh, shit. Yeah, fuck you in particular, Moxie. All right, don't want to get hysterical now. Oh! <gasps> the fuck is your problem? I'd shoot a fellow once in a while. Well. well welcome oh, back to Van funny. Fucking Horn. <laughs> well. Well, it'll be eight, like, aged like eight years in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks outraged. What is fucking wrong with you then? Go on. You were touching all up on her. Oh, really, Miss Hill, yeah. medical lady? Okay, well, you want to explain that one uh, to me? Like, I, I would prefer in private. Again. At least when I have my slight affairs, it's in the street where you've seen it. I'm not having no affairs. That's scandalous. And I don't want Over you to have none up. either. I'll have you know, know when I touched her breast, it was an accident. Oh my god, you touched her breast? Well, there was a I bit of noticed. a grab. But what? I assure you, right there was not much me. to grab, alright? That's not true. That's a line and a half. That is, she has a beautiful breast. Can I tell you a don't secret? Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? What? 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 She props them up. When she takes that off, they go that right down lie. to her knees. Well, I will take it off right now. I will take it off right fucking now. No, you will not take them off right fucking now. I will take it off. I Fuck off. I don't need this shit. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. How did you know that? <laughs> you I've seen it before when I was younger. I walked in what? one time and she was in the bath, all right? It's a long time ago. Holy shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, well, it's happened to couple of times a couple of times wait what why does that happen a couple of times well one of them i actually walked in on there was a couple of window peaks i'm not gonna lie i was young all right i was uh -huh. young i was young i'm gonna have a nice sleep <laughs> you young little good night good night edwin yeah i'm gonna have a nice sleep too good night. i'm gonna have a real nice sleep and maybe tomorrow i'll talk to mills Maybe, Surely that'll maybe. happen, Wallaby, right? 
Yeah. Well, wasn't that pretty awkward earlier whenever he, he kind of just like walked away from you? I mean, that was pretty awkward. Fuck off, Eddie. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> what is he going to stop? <laughs> Fucking good night. Good night. Wait. Good night, Wallaby. Hey. Nope. Can't hear you. I really can't. Are you sure? <laughs> All right. If it ain't my room no more, whose is it? I can't hear you. you fucking get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time, same channel. Till then. Ta-ta and farewell. <laughs> Van Horn for life, baby. when I have to be. I'm good at keeping secrets. I'm not. Rooting in the rain. Soaking up the water like a plant. Like a... <laughs> yeah, like it's like a, it's like a sprout. <laughs> Hello? <laughs>